Okay, and we're back, everybody. So we're gonna do some more Yu-Gi-Oh tonight. We're gonna have some fun with this. Now, pretty much all I can do is just run around and keep dueling people as I try to kind of rack up some duel points and make the decks I want. Um, let me check if there's any students around here. Maybe we can do that. I got a cat with me. That's always good. It's a yellow. Um, what about this guy? My Fairyland. I've already dueled him. What about Zane? Are you challenging me to a duel? No, I'm not. But I'm afraid it takes more than guts to be an expert duelist. I'm just talking to you. Pharaoh. What do you want to talk about? Dueling. You'll listen? Zane's like the only character that doesn't blush when I want to talk to him with a cat. We haven't dueled this guy, so... Why not? Okay, come on, let's go. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, bro. Hey, I love getting draws over and over. <laughs> there you go. There you go. We got him. All right, let me know how the audio is, chat. Yeah, it does seem like I said before. This is a game. It doesn't seem like you want to advance the clock, the, like advance the clock quickly, unless you know exactly what you're doing. All right, so let me get my brain all set up for Yu-Gi-Oh! Chat. Let's figure this out. It's been a few days, so let me just relax and have fun, because that's what the video game's for. I know I wanted a Sunday stream to be just a comfy, cozy time, chat. I wasn't sure what else I wanted to do do today, so I just kind of. Did a little bit of purity force before this and it ended in disaster because the game was rude about it uh oh okay well guess you can have that okay this is a problem i could just share the pain remove it and then special summon aqua spirit okay it doesn't mean to be face up please select a monster Gotta carefully go over that wording, chat. This game is very fun and relaxing. I like it. It's definitely something I can just turn on for a few hours and relax to. Like, even though I'm on day three and it's been like, what, eight hours of gameplay? I'm having a blast and I want to keep going. Of course, once I get like my best possible deck and everything, it'll be good. But, um, yeah, what I need to do is I need to just continuously like sort of romance the characters into being my partner. I'm, I'm gonna say romance because they always blush when I talk to them. Nightmare Penguin. And they need to become like my partner for the tag duel tournaments in 90 days or something. Also chat, I learned this recently. Tag Force, oh come on. Tag Force 6, uh, it didn't get an English translation apparently. Like, I think there's a good fan translation for it now, since the old one was apparently awful. But I didn't realize they stopped at 5 for North America, but it is a PSP game, so I guess, you know, they probably jump ship earlier than expected. Well, do I want to go for the Battle Trap? Why not? I'm going to do it. In case I can summon the Monarch next turn. Let's go. Mm-hmm. I know about Tag Force Special. Does that one have a better fan translation yet? Because I know it, like, has a really... See, the thing about the fan translation is people said it's really bad because the guy just put it in a bunch of, like, memes and jokes and swear words, and it's like, eh? That's what people told me anyway. And that they said I really shouldn't stream it. Let's go. Tag Force Special is, like, uh, an Arc 5, like, era game. Uh, Gigantis. This card cannot be normal summoner set. Can only be special summoned by removing from play an earth monster in your graveyard. When this card is destroyed, as a result of balance of the graveyard, destroy all spell or trap cards on the field. Okay, destroyed as a result of battle, huh? Oh, alright, you're gonna sacrifice it. Each time this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, declare a monster card type. Or, sorry, declare a card type, sorry. Monster spell or trap. Your opponent selects one card of that type from their deck and sent it to the graveyard. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, bear opponent's card effect is special summoned on the field your next standby phase. Okay. 
The declared battle. Yeah, we're gonna stop the attack so I can get the monarch on the field. And the fan translation is cringe. Yeah, I was I was warned about it, but I mean, it's gonna be a long while before I get to that. There's like six tag force games. Salvage, I can't. I don't have two water targets, so I can't. Okay, let's do this. Tribute summon. People have also told me that Tag Force 3 apparently technically includes stuff from the undubbed Season 4 of GX, was it? Was it Season 4 or 3 that didn't get dubbed? I'm not sure. Anyways, yes. Let's destroy that back row, chat. Let's give it the boop. Was that a no? Oh, that's a certified no card. There we go. Pay half your life points to say no. Okay. Correct four? Okay. So, yeah, that'll be interesting to play. I could definitely see myself playing through this, like, whole series as, like, a little comfort game for myself. And people seem to already be enjoying it, so... If you want to stick around for that, sure thing. Um... I guess, yeah, let's go to battle phase and take this thing out, even though it's going to come back. He's only got one card in his hand, so... I'm not going to say it's Mobin time when I summon Mobius. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Yu-Gi-Oh! games are very comfy, but like I've said before, um... No, I don't need to set salvage. What am I doing? It can get a little bit overwhelming. There we go. Because I don't, like, fully understand a lot of stuff about Yu-Gi-Oh! And people can, get, can, like, get mad about that. He's summoning... Why would you do that? That thing was going to come back anyway. He wasted his spell card for nothing. AI is really silly in this game. Kunai with chain. Let's set that. Don't have two water targets he left. Damn. This is fine. All right. The Kenyo guy is the game designer and director. Uh, he's in every Tag Force game with some mushroom deck. I think some one of the comments may have mentioned that. That sounds familiar. Okay. Here we go. So I guess it's safe to attack you. He's got no cards left in his hand, so I think I got this. Is that... Oh, it's Magician of Faith. Well, I guess he's getting a spell back. I thought Magician of Faith was, like, banned early on. Even G even during GX era, it's still legal right now? I guess so. Well, that's that. Let's go ahead and just end the turn, then. Oh. Okay. Dude, you don't need to target that. Stop doing that. <laughs> he wasted his Magician of Faith effect as well. All right then, chat. I guess I'm going to win. Let's slaughter him. Well, I, I know that Magician of Faith isn't, like, banned now. Because it's like, it's flip effect monsters are just too slow for, like, what current Yu-Gi-Oh cards can do. But I mean, like, during this era, getting a spell back for free like that was, like, way too huge, wasn't it? Forgetting what button to press. Ah, oh, come on. Going from a DS game to a PSP game, I'm like, my button layout is like switched from like, you know, the confirm and back button. As you know, the whole circle and X and A and B on the Nintendo controller. Hmm. I guess that's that now. Turn end. Okay, that's that guy again. He's just going right to the end phase. Well, I win, chat. Time to let the teddy work their magic. How much has it got? 13. And when it's destroyed... Destroy our spell of trap cards on the field. Oh no, not kunai with chain. The guitar is active, chat.
finish him. The disrespect for two attacks. Got him. Another guy defeated. Trying to, like, battle and people and beat their decks at least once. I turned the question mark into a real deck list there. Well, I did my best, so what the hey. That was awesome. Okay. Chaz Princeton won't talk to me. Every time I hear Chaz's voice now, I, I always forget how, um... How, like, he sounds like a chain smoker. <laughs> like, I remember his voice being, like, really clear when I was a kid, but then I look at, like, old clips of the GX dub, and he just talks th he just talks in this weird way where he's like, I'm the Chaz! You can't mess with me! Chaz it up! And I'm doing a terrible job because I'm hurting my throat just talking like that. Hmm. Okay. He always talks like a really hams up that, like, schoolyard bully voice as well. Where he's just like, you're such a loser, I'm, like, way better than you. I don't even want to try to do the smoker voice there anymore. Is Alexis upset? Fancy meeting you here, what's going on? Oh, Pharaoh. What do you want to talk about? The Academy? You're just the person I was looking for. You had a great talk. Okay. He, he changed VA during the end of Season 2. Wait, what? Really? I thought he sounded like, uh, I, I thought he can, sounded pretty consistent throughout the series. I don't remember that. I already talked to Zane a little while ago. I'm just kind of passing time now, aren't I? Any Slifer Reds I haven't beaten? I already hurt my throat doing a funny smoker voice. What's over here? Lawrence! Whoever you are, let's beat you up. I don't have any reason to refuse a duel. Let's see how good you are. Heck yeah. Alright. Is audio still good, chat? I can turn it up if I need to. Let me know. I have no idea how much friendship I need to, like, get a partner. From what I understand, the game is, like, designed in a way for you to kind of just replay it over and over. To, like, uh, partner up with multiple characters to see their events. Who should I go for? I feel like if I put it to a vote, it's just gonna be- it's just gonna be, like, Jaden because main character, or Alexis because girl. Am I wrong, chat? Do you think I'm wrong? I'm not wrong. You know I'm not. Chaz won't even talk to me. And, and... Alright, don't want you to die. Do I just go for the battle trap? I feel like I should j Actually, what am I saying? I can just sacrifice for Monarch. I'm not getting Mother Grizzly's effect, but... I can burn that whole back row for him, so let's do it. I didn't actually check what the name of his deck was. Okay. I'm liking this Monarch guy. He's pretty cool. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, Goblin out of the frying pan. Pay 500 life points. Negate the activation of a spell and return it to the owner's hand. Okay. What's the other one? Good Goblin housekeeping. Oh, that one. Oh, I set him up for a good draw later then. All right, let's go to battle phase and hope this isn't like Hane Hane or Morphing Jar or some crap. No, it's DD Trainer. What is that? It looks like... It looks like a mecha hot dog or something. A poor goblin that was sucked into a different dimension. He's doing his best with his new destiny. Well, I'm really glad to hear that. Good for them. Like, the monster is the goblin riding the weird mecha hot dog. Well, I guess that's that. Turn endo. Pole open. Oh, you opened a pole? Which should be dated. Yeah, I feel like there's just gonna be, yeah, it's the main character bias or the girl bias. Is that gamble? You can activate this card in your opponent's hand to six or more cards and your hand is two or less. Toss a coin and call heads or tails. If you call it right, draw into your, your hand has five. 
If you call it wrong, skip your next turn. <laughs> wow. Get, tail get, get tails. Oh, wow. He actually got it. Damn. All right, then. I got to respect it. He got it. Well, then, chat. Could start setting up with Starboy. Buff everybody up. You made the poll for Zane and Chaz. Okay. Of course you did. There we go. I don't trust Starboy's attack points to be able to beat over whatever's here. Yep. Goblin of Greed. Let me check that here. As long as this card remains face up on your side of the field, neither player can activate an effect by discarding from his or her hands. Okay. There's that. I can't even see what the poll results are or how many characters you put in there. I guess I'll just find out later. Well, there's no reason to sacrifice anything. Share the pain. He's got a monster on the damn board. Goblin Thief. Steal 500, get 500. What a play. The options are Alexis, Chaz, Jaden, Zane, and Bastion. Okay. Chumley and Cyrus get skipped. I don't think anybody would have voted for them. There we go. Nobody sits down as like, damn, Cyrus Truesdale? That's my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh character. I'm worried about that back row. Ooh, do I just go all in? Or do I get Mirror Forced? No, I think Mirror Force is actually on the ban list right now, because I haven't seen anybody with it. But they got Magic Cylinder. That stops one attack, though. Yeah, let's go for it. What is that? Coach Goblin. While this card's face up on your side of the field, you can return one normal monster card in your hand to the bottom of your deck during your end phase. Draw one card from your deck. You can only use this effect once per turn. Alright. Alright, Starboy, get him. I don't even know how I'm supposed to talk to Chaz. Like, do I have to be, like, at least in the yellow dorm? Because he just doesn't want to talk to me because I'm a loser. Second coin toss. Oh boy. Alright, chat. It's time to rough him up. Doesn't look like any of his battle traps will do anything, so let's just kill him. I'm sending you to the graveyard. Giant orc. Oh, that card. Yeah, you lose, buddy. You lose, Lawrence. I'm sure I'll figure it out as things go along. I think I have a test next week. but uh, So that should take me like eight episodes to reach. Dual bonus. I lost that one. You're good. I'll give you that. That's a good duel. Let's do it again sometime. Let me find the lad since I got Pharaoh. I think I feel a sneeze approaching. I can't go in here. Jeez. Stuck. That was this room. I feel a sneeze coming. Okay. I muted and got it out of my system. Hey, Esprit. We had a rocking day today, huh? Tomorrow's gonna rock, too. Meow. Hey, Pharaoh. Let's talk about duels. I was just thinking I wanted to talk to you. You had a great talk. About Chumley. We'll be up at 5.45 tomorrow too, I bet. Same thing every morning. Hey Chumley, if you stay up all night dueling, you won't have to worry about sleeping in. Of course, that's a capital idea. Hey Pharaoh. Um, hobbies? You want to talk to me? You had a great talk. 
Asprey, I'm glad you showed up. I was getting kind of bored. Oh, Pharaoh. What do you want to talk about? Uh, the Academy? Ah, just the person I wanted to see. You had a great talk. Okay. Um, I wonder if I should duel Jaden or something right now. Okay. Ooh, I felt like I had to clear my throat. A little messed up after that sneeze. I beat him once. Let's duel him again. Wait, what? He walked away. Not my fault. Want to duel? Bring it on. My name has weird spacing for some reason. That's just the game. I keep forgetting the sandwiches even exist. I don't know what to really do with them. Okay. Um... A lot of the same monsters recently, huh? Hmm. I'll just set this and end my turn. Cause why the heck not? Let's give it a go, chat. If you, if you carry a cat with you around, or a cat around with you, everyone wants to pet the cat. So let's summon amphibian beast, chat. Let's summon it and ruin everyone's day. Or get magic cylinder, whatever happens first. Oh. Yeah. Alright. Alright, then I guess I'll just end my turn, chat. Yes, I will. You gotta win, Karibo. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to keep muting to, like, cough because my throat feels so weird all of a sudden. When this card is on the field and destroyed into the graveyard, its effect is activated. After activation, during this turn, any battle damage that controller of this card takes becomes zero. He's attacking me with Wing Karibo. What a play. What a play, chat. What a play. Hmm. Don't really want to use Abyss Soldier's effect here. Not that it really matters. I don't need to use Fissure on that. That's not that good. Mm hmm Alright, turn end. Draw phase, main phase, activate that. Or not. I don't need Amphibian Beast on the field. I'm just gonna take out his two bat his two uh monsters there. Um if he has Clayman, I can just use Fissure to get rid of it, I guess. Or Kunai with chain. Hang on. It's the damage step now, so let me just check this here. Uh, there. Yeah, let me just do this, so I can beat over Clayman. Easier to do it like that. I don't need to waste Fisher on that. Unless he's got a second Clayman. He does have a second Clayman! Piece of crap. Um, I don't want to waste my Fisher here, so I'm just gonna end my turn. I'll save for something more powerful. Well, I know what he's doing with that now. Yeah, I should have I should have fissured Clayman. Okay. This monster cannot be special summoned except by fusion summon. That's it. All right. Well then. Goodbye. <laughs> Good job, Jaden. Sure showed me. Okay. Chaz won the poll. All right then. I guess I'll partner with the partner with the Chaz. Let's get him. I didn't turn the dual animations on for Jaden. I should next time. That's fine.
We gotta date the chain smoker now, chat. We'll figure it out though. Oh wait, no, not main phase two. I want end phase. He's about to get slaughtered, chat. Hmm. Well, let's finish him. He had nothing. He never stood a chance. Oh nine. Do I lost? So I guess that little jingle means when I beat them in a duel, I get, like, more respect or friendship from them. Alright. There's you. Let's go to bed, then. Advanced time, I guess. End the day. The 4th of May, Thursday. You can do two things in your room. First is database. Go to your desk and book appears above your head. Database allows you to view useful information. Next is advance time. Go to your clock appears above your head. Press X to advance time. I, I know, I've been doing this for a couple days. What's the email? How are you doing? I checked this one before. I did, but why does it say new still? Congratulations, you have been selected as a recommended duelist. Show this congrats email to the professor standing in the front of the classroom. And you will receive DP. But be careful, this email is only valid for today. If you don't authenticate it today, the offer will become invalid. Anyway, congratulations. This sounds like a scam email. Is that really rare? I wonder if I can go right to the classroom and talk to the dude for it. Let's have a look. I'm, uh... Leo side? You're a transfer student. In the classroom before class, I'm impressed. Want to kill time until 8 and attend class? No. Okay. Uh... Where do I... Oh, is it this one? They all look the same. You get selected as a recommended duelist. Speak up. Yes, I was selected. All right. Now show me your congrats email. Why the music change? Indeed, you have been selected. Congratulations. Let me give you your bonus DP. Okay. Take advantage of this opportunity and strengthen your dueling skills. Why did the music just become so, like, happy? Okay. Talking to Crowler made it, like, glitch. You may be in the same dorm as him, but try not to become that dropout boy. Marcel. I talked to all of you before. Yeah, it's Jules. I'm stuck. Nova. Okay, it's a dino lady. Simon. I got money, I guess, but it was like a thousand duel points. That's not that impressive. I could win like two or three duels to get that. <laughs> All right. Forest, volcano, hmm. Well, 
Where's the Chaz? Also, I need to find Pharaoh as well. I don't have time to talk to a loser like you. Get lost. He won't talk to you. I don't have time to talk to a loser like you. Aw. Oh. Why won't you talk to me? There's you. Well, nothing to can do here. Okay. Get a drink here. Hello, cat. There's no one to talk to. He's right by the edge of the edge of the map, though. Pet his head. Uh. Oh, that's it. I get one chance. Rip off. Rune, deluge, whatever the hell his name is. Oh, come on. It's just a one in three chance, basically. Which one is the cat want? Does the cat want? Why, cat? Why? Meow. The cat does not want to duel me. All right, cat. To the store. Uh, normally not out here. Want a sandwich? Only 50 DP each. Yes. That sounds gross. That sounds really gross. <laughs> I wouldn't want to eat that. Welcome. Would you like some cards? What are cards? Cards for dueling, of course. Didn't they teach you that you use cards for duels? Lock cards are under trunk and deck at it. For deck at it, press that. Press that. You idiot. Welcome. Would you like cards? Yeah, sure. This pack has normal monsters. I can't even buy my cyber dragons right now. Damn. I don't even want them now. Heaven and hell. Nathan. Halloween corpse. Saving. Hmm. How can I talk to the Chaz? Maybe I gotta talk to him over and over again, or maybe I gotta have the cat with me. Cat is gone. Cat has left the map. Let me fix my seat. Well, I can always just duel some chumps in the meantime. Uh, all right, let's duel Craig. Go ahead, show me what you're made of. Loom is when, then make a decision. The SF set? What? Okay. Let's throw down the dust tornado, and throw down the penguin, and ruin his day. Heart of Greed! 
Gaia power. Okay. He's running Earth Monsters. Uh, let's see, 1900, 1800, but when it gets flipped up, it'll get 200 points. I may as well get rid of his field spell. No reason not to. Nope. Even more reflect damage. And now you lose your normal summon. Okay. And his field won't protect him, chat. You know why? Because I'm gonna bop those two back row. Let's go. What an opening play. What I get rid of here? Widespread Ruin and MST. Activate this card when your opponent declares an attack. Destroy a monster with the highest attack among your opponent's attack position monsters. Okay. Okay, then. Let's go to battle phase. Send in the Frost Monarch. Hey. I win. I'm not saying it's Mulvin time. Never. Two star boy. All right then. I'm gonna go for it. Ah. Yeah, fine. Uh oh. Well, we had to eat through that at some point. That's fine. Can use salvage to get uh not this yet. No, it's fifteen hundred or less back. Hmm. I can save Starboy if I put this on, probably. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Hang on a second. How much was it? At the end at each of its standby phases, so my standby phase. Alright. Machine Sniper, or Machiner Sniper. As long as title remain or long as card is face upon the field. A monster that includes Machiners in its name other than Sniper cannot be attacked. Uh oh. Well, I wasted Stim Pack. 50 points, too short. No biggie. Yeah, it's fine. You can let me know what I need to do to do, need to do for that. Well, Penguin can just block everything. I can use Salvage to get two bodies back. No reason not to, really. Excellent. End turn. Yeah, let's bounce that. Perfect. All right. Uh, might be a good idea to let this thing just crit. No, it has the same attack as my defense, so... Hmm. I could potentially let him go for a tribute play. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll just set this and call it a turn, honestly. I'm not worried about what he can do. Mm hmm Okay. So in order to partner with Chaz, I essentially have to wait for a ton of uh, in-game days to pass by. That's gonna take forever. I have to wait for stuff from the anime to basically happen first. Okay. May as well bounce this back now. Now, what does Mistbody do? Monster card, the monster card cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh oh. Okay, then. Hmm. Back of all water monsters by that. Hmm. 
I wonder if I could get away with... I'm worried about his face downs. I feel like I should just attack into his monsters to kind of like bait stuff. Hmm. Could burn one of the Star Boy for the effect. So let me do that. Activate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do this so he uses the equip. Wait, what? Um, what happens here? So my effect still goes off? Okay, I was kind of confused about that. I wasn't sure what was going to even happen. Alright then, at least uh, his monster's gone. I'm honestly fine with that. Now there's this. Hmm... I'm gonna just set Yomi ship and call it a turn. He summoned the rat again. It's a tie. Okay, archery girl. If I attack the rat, I'm just gonna let him summon what he's trying to summon, so I gotta best I'm just gonna have to beat over stuff is what I gotta do. Get rid of the rest of his monsters. Ah, I knew that was gonna happen, too. Oh, well. He's really stalling me to search stuff out, isn't he? There's that thing again. I don't think you uh, read what that did. Yeah, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't read what the card did, chat. He just went, he just went right for it. Okay, then. Mother Grizzly should be fine to just throw on the board, then. I'm surprised he has so many cards in his hand. I feel like I'm, like, forcing him to go through so much stuff. Select one mem- Okay, from your deck and add it to your hands. Uh-oh. And we tied. Damn it. That's not what I wanted. Oh, well. Hello, friend. Welcome. We just- Fix my seat. I'm kind of slouching a bit. Well, my field spell. It's been a while since we've seen this, apparently. Okay, and apparently it's going to be even longer. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's great. Well then, throw down Star Boy. Star Boys got 1450, and these guys got 18. I gotta start slaughtering some monsters here, so let's do this. Okay. Let's use this to get rid of you. Hmm. Could very well have the same thing placed down there, and this is just gonna give him a free body. Okay. I'm gonna have to go for it, though, at some point. Yeah, there we go. And now he gets another free freaking summon. Or free card, rather. Ah, uh, darn it. If I take out the rat... What is this? This archetype needs, like, four specific monsters, right? There's no way he can get them all on board now, right? Let me check his graveyard. What's that captain thing he keeps summoning? Commander Covington, send one of each machine, soldier, sniper, and defender from your side of the field to graveyard. Special summon machine, forest from your hand or your deck. All right, that's what he's trying to do. So I guess he doesn't have that anymore, but there's no way he's going to be able to summon enough. To, so I should be safe to just remove rat this turn, I hope. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Oh, he summoned another rat. Okay. Never mind. He's not going for the play. I don't think the AI knows how its own deck works. Alright, then. I shall end my turn. 
So just to confirm, chat, it's literally impossible for me to, um, talk to Chaz for, like, until, like, the end of the month or something? I don't know. It seems like I have to wait a long time before I can consistently talk to him, because I have to wait for, like, some anime stuff to happen first. Well, yeah, that happened. It's fine. Lost all my buffs. Hmm. 1200, 1400, 1800. Can face that monster in the field and do that. And sa still save Cyber Dragon. I don't need the tribute, Mother Grizzly. Hmm. Well. Let's just do this until the end of the turn. It is Nick the Monster, which is reduced by half. Okay. You. There we go. There you go. Taking you out. They can't attack into Mother Grizzly's normal stats. Don't know what they'll do. But let's just see what happens when I end my turn. You got nothing, chat. Absolutely nothing. Hmm. If I crash Grizzly into Rat... I can search a thing out. I don't really need to search something out, though. I can, may as well just put Amphibian on board. I better not go into the frickin' armor again. I'm gonna take out the big thing there first. He's already, like, halfway through his deck there. Premature Burial. He's going for it. He, he really wants this combo. How good is this boss monster? Oh. Well, damn. Swords are annoying. Back to square one. Return monster on top of the owner's deck. If I do that to swords, he's just gonna play it next turn anyway, so... It's not like I can really do much, except wait. Uh-oh. Well, we can't summon anything else. Don't need to worry about it. I'm winning. Don't worry. Share the pain. Oh, I could do this, honestly. Force him to get rid of one of his stuff. He gave up that. What was it? It was the commander. Okay, yeah, I don't think he knows what he's doing at all. The AI just does not know how to play its own strat. No, I wasn't going to... Yeah, I didn't mean to say Swords of Revealing Light. I meant, like, his monster. I, I worded that poorly, but you can't use Return to Square One on spells, right? Yeah, it's a monster. I got my field spell. That's something. Anyways, swords are gone. What did he put down? Oh, he put down Nightmare Steel Cage. <sighs> okay. Yeah, yeah, let me just stretch here. His boss monster has 4,600 attack. That sounds mean. Imagine you just sitting there. You're like a little teddy ursa at a picnic, and all of a sudden some big machine monster with that much attack power just comes over and just knocks over your bag of cookies you brought. Wouldn't that just be mean? That'd be pretty damn mean. Yes, I do have to use a Teddy Ursa analogy for everything. It's part of the wholesome branding. Well, Cage is still active. And turn. Let me get a drink here. Oh my god. Are you done yet? <laughs> this man's stalling, but the AI doesn't know why it's stalling. He's gonna deck out at this rate. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, okay. Oh no, not that. Uh, what has he got? He's got two of the snipers. He's going for the kill soon, chat. But yeah, I reduced the attack power as machines because of that. Um. Well, okay. <laughs> Can't use two snipers, no. Alright, finally I can attack him. May as well use back to square one and discard Umi. Um, let's get rid of the rat so it doesn't like summon more friends. This song is such a jam, I love it. Oh, right. Can't... I have to target the snipers, that's right, because they're effect. Uh, yeah, it's for that archetype in particular, so let's just kill them first, I suppose. I highly doubt he has some cheesy flip effect, but let's just get rid of these guys first. You never know. Nice. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Wait, no. Yeah, I attacked with everyone. Heck yeah, Teddy Ursa is technically part of my branding. I haven't gotten in any issues for it. Not like it's the face of my channel. I just mentioned Teddy Ursa a lot. As far as I'm concerned, as since John Serebi doesn't seem to get in any issues for uh, branding himself around good old Celebi, I should be fine. <laughs> Let me see now. Well, let's get in there. Attack them face downs, chat. Hang on, does... Oh, it's a giant rat, yeah, okay. Put in attack mode. That's fine. Hang on. Okay, it's attack and defense for the machine in pyrotype monsters, not bad. Let's hit him hard with this right here. Also, all of Bulbapedia in general, yeah. I don't sell Teddy Ursa merch, so they don't give a crap. What if I what if I just did that? What if I just had like custom Picaspri Teddy Ursa plushies? Would you buy them, chat? I'm not gonna make them. No. There we go. You would? No, you wouldn't, because I'm not selling them. And you get what I'm saying? Well, he summoned the fancy captain. He can't really do much about it now. Barry of the Fountain, straight from Zelda. Call them Barry Ursas, they'll be legally different. <laughs> there we go. Because why the heck not? Alright, chat, who wants to predict how many Sakuretsu armors there are? Hang on, is this... Okay, only face up monsters, so yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna finish them. Machine Soldier, get him. Get his ass, Amphibian Beast. Oh, that won't save you. That won't save you. You're still dead. You did it. You won. There we go. Ooh, that's a lot of points. Is that a level up bonus? Yeah, there was a level up bonus, but what was the other stuff? Okay, turn bonus, because I took a long time. The longest turn. Ah, uh, your skill is almost inhuman. Anytime you're up for another duel, I'm here. Nothing here. I have not been able to buy a machine pack yet. I don't know if I can really partner with uh, Chaz then, if this is how the game works. Like, won't I just run out of time if I wait for that then? Like, I can still build friendship with other characters regardless, right? Let's duel this guy. Let's kick his ass.
Win. Lose. Uh, first to go. I don't know what de actually determines the, uh, the, uh, card packs being out of stock. Almighty Queen. Uh-oh. What kind of deck is this now? I'm gonna activate my field spell. And next, I'm gonna set a monster. Standby main phase. Oh, uh, this is an old ass card. Cannon the Sword Mistress, a lady warrior armed with sword and shield. She floats lightly and stings sharply. Whoa. Something about her arms looks wrong. He's probably gasping right now. No, my queen. How can I do this to you? Some stupid crap like that. What's he got? That's really his only play. Only thing he had, huh? Let's kill him. The Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. Everything's a warrior of darkness in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh has at least, like, uh, 80 different cards named the Dark Lord of something. It's not a very prestigious title if anyone can claim it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to change my username. I'm, now I'm Dark Lord Picaspri. You can't stop me. Who's going to? Uh, Reptile doesn't get the Umi boost. Don't need to use that. Hang on. Turn one card on the field to the owner's hand. I mean... Can't really, not like I can attack him for game anyway. May as well mill his monster. Hmm. Put you in attack mode, though. Why not? I don't trust this face down. Sonic Ma Man, what is this guy's deck? He's running, like, the earliest vanilla monsters, or earliest vanilla ladies here. A maiden that uses sound to her advantage, she wields a scythe that's shaped like a music note. Whoa. Okay. Does this count as a waifu deck when he's playing, like, the, uh, the absolute earliest Yu-Gi-Oh monsters where the art was just, like, really weird? There we go. They're not even, like, anime art at that stage. Oops, I hit the wrong button. He has a respectful waifu deck. Increase the attack of all warrior monsters on your field by 200 points for each face-up warrior or spellcaster on your side of the field. Okay. Oh, am I winning? Sorry, I couldn't tell because I was barely trying. Alright. Let's, uh, finish him, I guess, because he, uh, doesn't know what he's doing. The Hex... Wait. Earth's Hex Sealed Fusion... Oh, he has, a, he has an extra deck of six cards. Probably, like, early frickin' vanilla, like, fusions, then. Finish him. You lose. You lose! 2-10. I really lost bad. I gotta relax. Next time I'll relax. Let's duel some more. Haku. Aiden. Look at these guys. Michael. Hero. I wondered where the, the cat is. No one's here. Oh, it's a professor. Hello. How are things? Studying hard? Uh, let's turn on animations and duel him. Kind of curious. Duel effects. Okay. A duel? Oh, I'm just not in the mood. 
How dare you? I challenged you and everything. What about in here? Nobody's around. It's time for class. Oh, that thing you do at school. Take your seats, time for class. Today we'll be continuing this, the basics of dueling. We covered how to summon high level monsters and use spell and trap cards, but spell and trap cards can be difficult to master, so we're spending some more time on them today. No, no, I am not watching, I am not sitting through a class on how to use Black Pendant. You cannot make me do that. Today we're done with uh, this lesson. As a present, I'm giving everyone a card. No oh, goody. <laughs> Mass Driver, Yellow Luster Shield, Shrink, Umi. I already got three of those, my dude. Seven Tools of the Bandit. Explanation. Press that to open your PDA. Yes, sirree. Ooh, Alexis got a heart. Was she staring at my hat? Reviewing today's lesson, or are you in detention? Just kidding. What do you want to talk about? Hobbies? Well, just the usual. Yeah, no okay talk. There's that guy there. There's Michael. Tristan. Deluge. Whatever the hell's name. I don't know how you say that. Pablo. Hyde. Let's run. Hmm. So the Chaz is at school. Maybe I should see now if I can buy stuff. Let me try that. Wow, they're so happy today. But I don't have a cat. So I can't, like, take advantage of that and get more points, I guess. Is it possible for me to find the cat again? Before the end of the day? Or what? Welcome, would you like cards? Yes. Oh, they're... Really? This pack is sold out, I'm sorry. You're sorry? I'm sorry too. I'm mad, I want trading cards. Wait, wait, wait. Being more friendly with Jaden makes it so that, like, his cards appear and Zane's don't? What kind of a system is that? That sounds like a pain in the ass. Alright then, where's Zane? I'm gonna go kick his ass. Cat's random won't show up at night. Yay. The cat is so good, though. Alright, chat. Let's go duel. Ruler of Machines, Ultimate Mecha Dragon. I have a little brother. His name is Cyrus. You probably met him at least once. What do you want to talk about? Rumors. Rumors, huh? Cyrus wanted to talk about his hobby. Looking at the ocean makes me think about my friend. Who is his friend again? I don't remember his deal. All right, I accept your challenge. I got animations turned on, chat. I'm gonna duel Zane. I assume I won't be seeing it until Tag Force 2, but, um... Like, there's a part in GX where Zane, like, loses a duel, and then he just becomes, like, this evil guy who's like, I hate weak things. I hate weak duelists. I will destroy everything. Challenge me, I'll take you on. And then he uses weaker monsters. Welcome, friend. All right. I'm gonna throw down a face down. And throw up the ocean, apparently. Hmm. Would he attack me? I don't know. If he destroys Starboy, I can just get a Cyber Dragon as a body and summon the Monarch, so why not? Let's go. Turn end. Tag Force 3, but I thought, um, 
I thought Tag Force 2, the cover has Jesse on it, so I thought that one was like further along into the series. Nice special summon a monster. All right, I summon my monster in attack position. Cyber Raider. When this card is normal summon, flip summon, or special summon successfully, select and activate one of the following effects. Select an equip spell card. Equip card, equip the monster in the field, and destroy it. Select an equip card, equip the monster in the field, equip this card. Okay. That's useless right now, then. I attack with my monster. Um... I can protect it with the thing, but, uh... I'd rather protect it so I have Monarch, but at the same time, then I don't get the special summon with that. If I keep them in defense mode, they'll be more easily defeated here, so I'm just gonna do this. Better to do this and wait for my next draw. I set a card. Oh, he's got two, okay. I have to use Monarch for sure now. Uh, yeah, Umi also is pretty good for me when dueling Zane because it, like, weakens machine monsters. So I'm gonna put Monarch on board and I'm gonna boop his back row. Let's do that. No, 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 no. Don't default to my field spell. If I accidentally hit the button, that would have been bad. <laughs> oh, that makes me nervous. I figured you out. Oh, uh... Uh, no. Oh, no, not my field spell. No, don't do that. Don't discard for my field spell. Hit, attack the monarch instead. <laughs> Idiot. Good job, Zane. You only left me with this giant body on board. <laughs> he should have taken out the monarch. Huh? How are you doing that, man? He went for the... He, Zane is afraid of water. No wonder he stares out at the ocean. He's thinking about facing his fears. There we go. I guess that's that. I'm gonna get a drink. Witness my full power. My turn. I said a monster. All right. He got nothing. Well, I don't need Cyber Dragon now. In case he somehow, like, Torrental Tributes my whole damn field, and then I can just Special Summon it. I just splashed Cyber Dragon in because I need another card, and it's super easy to just Special Summon it and get it a free Tribute uh, tribute body for Monarch or something. Of course, that's only if I'm going second, but anyways. What's your... Okay, you only have a thousand defense. I got this. Dude just got booped. X sealed fusion. Oh, he's got one of those. Okay. Yu-Gi-Oh is comfy chat. I've been enjoying it. A <laughs> little salty that Purity Forest didn't go so well earlier. But at least I'm gonna have another session of this to upload. Here we go. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna get that um Pokemon Emerald Rogue hack uploaded. It was like almost five hours I was playing that. It was sick. But my plan for tomorrow is I'm probably just going to be, like, spending the whole day putting together this shelf I bought. Let me see, and, like, and cleaning and reorganizing my room. Uh, let me set this. I didn't want to do anything or, like, start anything new today. Because I know I'm just going to immediately want to continue, so I figured I'd just do some random stuff. Um... Well, he can't really do much to me, can he? Let's see if I can attack this thing. What is it? Heavy mech support. All right. He's got no cards in his hand or field. What do you mean, huh, Zane? <laughs> he should have gotten rid of, the, rid of the monarch. Oh, boy. How did I lose? I don't even know what's going on here. From my hit. Oh, oh. Zane just said... <laughs> just gave me the finger with that one. Okay. 
From my hand, I activate the big suck. That's funny. He believed in the heart of the cards. Now I can't summon anything. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> he said, if I can't do anything next turn, neither, neither can you. Uh... I mean, like, I guess. I, I can't really do much. Oh well. From my hand, I activate a spell. Man's really out of everything right now. That ends my turn. Well, I... I still can't do anything. Man! I'm a monster so I can Cyber Dragon your butt. It's my turn. Draw. Here we go. I can remember Zane's dub dub voice very clearly. Here we go. It's su I think that one suited him very well. Well then, I guess I got Starboy. Uh Yeah, I got Starboy. May as well set it though. Attacking him directly is not going to do crap. I need to get, get Amphibian Beast on board. If he attacks me next turn, destroys it, well then I can just Cyber Dragon. He slowed this whole damn game down with that dark hole. He really, he really got that to go off. Oh, get out of here! Get out of here! Stop drawing spells, you ass! I set a card. <laughs> okay. Mother Grizzly, finally. Well. I guess now I just attack into him and hope, like, exhaust his spell and traps, I guess. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> I can't special summon Cyber Dragon with, unless he has a monster on the field, and he's not drawing monsters. He just keeps playing, he keeps drawing, like, one annoying spell card and activating it. Uh, what did I put face down again? Right, that. Oops, wrong thing. There we go. My face down. Oh no, don't discard more cards, Zane. Please don't. Please don't leave your field even more empty. Well, finally. Doesn't matter. I can't get Monarch back, so I'll just get rid of that. Do I throw Amphibian down? He might still have a silly card down there. Hmm. One standby phase, change the battle phase, one card, one sprint, one sprint, one the pair. Okay. I'm still worried about his face down. It's prob I'm worried he might have Magic Cylinder or like Sakuretsu Armor, if I'm saying that right. So I'm just gonna go for it. I knew it. I knew it. How does that work with, like, an attack that's like a punch or something? Imagine, like, you throw a punch into the magic cylinder, and outside the other one, like, it comes out... The, the fist just comes out and just hits the player in the face. Like a Mario Warp Pipe. Oh, boy. Oh, welcome. You did miss most of the stream today, but don't worry. Purity Forest was just rude. Nothing happened except me dying to bullcrap. Guess that's turn end. A giant boxing glove will come out. Draw. Here I go. I summon a monster in attack position. 100 more stronger. Oh, boy. Battle. You can't stop this. My monster attacks. Go ahead, Zane. Go ahead. Go ahead, Zane. Go right ahead. Oh, boy. Hmm. 
the top of the deck, I could do that. Yeah, then... Hmm, but let me just double check here. That face-up attack position card is attacked by an opponent's monster before damage calculation. This card deflects damage your opponent's uh, even attack damage monster. Then after damage calculation is result, this card is destroyed. Should I just take the damage? Because he's just gonna... If I use this, I just discard cards and he's gonna do it again next turn. Like, I may as well just attack into it and get it over with. I got plenty of life points. And hang on. The activation, the effect. Can I negate this? If I understand how, like, this... The timing of this works. Will this even go off? I don't know. I may as well just let it... I don't want to discard stuff, so let's just attack into him. Get over with. And I didn't do my normal summon. I just realized. I thought I did. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, let your monster die. For some reason, I thought that, uh... Dude was... This dude was, like, five-star, and I have no idea why. I'm so used to just having, like, tribute monsters in my hand all damn day. Well, time to summon him now. Well, missed an extra attack there, but it's fine. He can only draw one card. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do, chat? I sent a card. Shadow spell. Heck yeah, I love shadow spells. I'm still worried about... You know what? I choose to not live in fear any longer. I'm summoning the beast. You activate, like, the armor, and I swear, man. Ah! You're better than I thought. That dark hole just made, like, tripled the length of this whole duel, I swear. He's upset. Here's my face down card. Oh no, not that. Don't do that. Stop it. Zane, what are you doing? Oh no. My my plan. I can't win now. Alright. For real now, chat. So I don't know, like Oh, we got pot agreed, okay. Uh should I like partner with Chaz? Because it seems like that's gonna take an astronomical amount of time. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna win. I don't even need this, though. Well, let's finish him. Little fart noise. Yeah, I think Chaz is, that should probably just be a character I, like... Because I can do all the partners in this game, chat. I don't have to just pick one for the whole playthrough. And if I have to wait for Chaz to become, like like, uh, able to be partnered with, I may as well just do that later, right? How did this happen? I made no mistakes! There we go. You're getting better. Good job. Alright, can I buy Cyber Dragon cards now? Because I didn't realize that, uh, not... Like, dueling Jaden means I can't buy Zane's cards anymore, because that seems like a very stupid mechanic. Everybody got hearts, because I walked in the room. Oh, yeah, there it works. Why does it work like this? That's silly. Alright, I need my third Cyber Dragon card. Let's go, chat. Welcome to my card opening stream. Let's open some packs. Let's start with 10. I got... I think I have two copies of Twin... Cyber Twin Dragon, and I have one copy of Cyber End Dragon, and I have, like, more than three Power Bonds, for sure. Whole box opening stream. Let's go. Useless. 
Useless. Uh, what is that? Disc Magician? Cyber Laser Dragon. Super useless. Look at all that stuff I'm getting. Megasonic Eye. Whoa, it's Kinetic Soldier. Whoa, another Power Bond? Let me add it to the pile. This, um... Gatling Dragon. I have like 50 of those. I have two copies of Cyber Dragon at this point. I need my third before I can even think of making that deck. Okay, I got a lot of Cyber Phoenix as well. I can put that in. Proto Cyber Dragon. Uh, that also works. But I need three copies of the real one. Oh, all right. There's another one. It's only count. Its name only changes the Cyber Dragon when it's on the field. Still, it's a good thing to use for making plays. Oh, another twin. Okay. Not what I needed. Why is Cyber Dra like regular Cyber Dragon so damn rare? I've gotten like Cyber and Dragon for another damn one. I'm buying the whole box, Sadie. Gimme. Taking them all. Connect Soldier. Cyber Phoenix. If I get another, like, Cyber End Dragon doing this, whatever. Oh, there's another twin. Um, people said that I can't get Cyber Stein until, like, the second half of the game or something, so... I can't do that cheese. Oh, Future Fusion. Uh... Th wait, that card's, like, stupid good pre-errata, right? Like, I remember when I played Legacy of the Duelist, that it had, like, a nerfed effect because it was so good, I think. So... I think it's better here. Ugh, no one wants to use laser or barrier. Like, I, I looked up those cards and oh my god, they're bad. They're like, there's something along the lines of like, uh, Red Eye's like, Metal Dragon. Like, they're just so clunky to use. They should be like, extra deck monsters. They're just pack fodder, I guess. Gatling Dragon... Oh, no. I don't really watch too many Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, no. I just want my third Cyber Dragon. The game will give me literally anything except a normal Cyber Dragon. Come on. It's literally on the pack. It should be easy to get, I hope. Gimme, gimme, gimme. There's a barrel dragon. I got it to 97 completion, did I? Look at me go. I... Please, I want a cyber dragon. I'm spent... I want that third cyber dragon. I want to make this deck, chat. Okay, come on, let's go. Five more packs, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I do like the animations in the shop. It's fun. Defusion. I got like 50 of those, too. Ah, oh, too many twins. Dimension capsule. Oh, my. Finally. I only had to open like 50 boxes for it. Just craft it. No, there's no, that's not a thing you can do. <laughs> that's definitely not a thing in this video game, no. Craft the card. Let me just get some spare paper from the office. No, that wasn't the summon skull. Okay. Teddy's cheer. We got Cyber Dragon chat. Okay, I'm gonna sit in the corner here. Uh, recipe. Hang on. Character. Can I, like, save my current deck for here, or what? Is 
Is there like a input that lets me save my current deck so I can like go back to it later if I want? Uh... Yeah, this interface is better, but it's like I'm just trying to... Deck and recipe menu... Okay, there it is. Save. Personal deck. Uh, let me rename it. Uh, where's rename? Uh, is start menu, is there a thing for that? I just want to know how to change the name of it so I can save it. Can I, do I go up to that? Hang on. No. Can't go up to the name thing. You do that on recipe menu. Why do they have to make me do it on two menus there? Come on. Oh, it was at the bottom there. Okay. There we are. Um, let me see here. Uh, where's capitalize here? I can't see here. Shift, okay. Water. Heck yeah. There we go. Wrong buttons. Save recipe. Let's put it here. Okay. Now then, chat. Let's remove everything except Cyber Dragon. We're gonna make a fun, fun deck now. Probably keep some things in, like, like, uh, kunai with chain or negate attack or whatever. Monarch. Not really. I mean, do I want this if I, ha I don't have enough machine cards? It's back row destruction effect is nice, but I don't really get... I don't really have a machine, like, uh, field spell yet, do I? I'll have to see. Let's see here. Shadow spell I'm keeping. Share the pain, maybe. Okay. Where are the remaining monsters? We had 11 now. Random spells and stuff. All right, chat. Uh, what what is it? I need I need to organize this again. Uh, oh gosh. Sort by type. That'll work. I already see machines. Okay. There's a mechanical chaser. Let's put three of those bad boys in there. There's Cyber Twin. Three of those in. Labyrinth Tank. There's my other Cyber Dragons. There's Cyber End. Now let's find Proto and all that too. Mechanical Hound. You have know, cards in your hand, your opponent can activate spells. Eh. Mighty Guard. Bottom Dweller. It's Amphibian Beast. Six stars for that. Royal Guard. Six stars. Proto Cyber Dragon. Treat it as Cyber Dragon while his face up on the field. Do I want three of these? I feel like I need, like, it's too weak on its own, though, as well. Why does that scan look so weird? Didn't this thing have red missiles? I'm gonna swear it did. Cyber Falcon. Machine. Hmm. I also wonder about having... 
I need a good field spell for this stuff, too. It's four star for that. It's not terrible. I guess I can put that in for now. Kind of. Based on what I got. Um... Okay. Here's all the this stuff down here. Yeah, put Fissure back in. Let's put that in there. Same with Dust Tornado. Yami, that's not what I want. Wasteland, Attack of Dinosaur, Zombie, and Rock Monsters. Revolution Pill, Time Machine, Thousand Knives. Taunt, you're prone side of the field in the graveyard. That's not for me. Swords of Concealing Light. That's Skull Invitation. Shrink is that. Have the monsters attack the end of the turn. I want that. Seven Tools of the Bandit. May put that on for now. Pay three life points to rearrange the face down defense position monsters on your side of the field and return the face down possession position. Use. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> I don't see why I want to do that. Rod of Silenced. It's okay. Recycle. Power Bond. Yeah, I need three copies of that in there. Do I have, like, a, the Light Searcher, which is, like, the Angel? Don't have that either, do I? Pot of Generosity. Order the Change. Micro Ray. I don't know if I have enough stuff in the deck to really make this the way I want. Heck, I'm gonna the field. Special Summon two cards to stay in your deck. Light Force Sword. Life Equalizer. Jar of Greed. Jam Defender. Jam Breeding Machine. Inotama. That'll show him. Giant True Nade. Oh, there's Future Fusion. Send from your deck to the graveyard. Fusion Material Monsters. Listen on a Fusion Monster and select one Fusion Monster from your Fusion deck. Special Summon the Electric Monster during your second standby phase activation. Yeah, that sounds good. That's what I want. Let's put that in. Okay, not what I need. I don't have a field spell. I want a field spell for this, for the machines, but I don't know if there really is one. Earthbound Spirits Invitation. Hmm. Yes, Croaking. There's Diffusion. Don't need that many of them in there. This thing is going to be so clunky, because I don't have enough cards to really make it work. Black Pendant, blah blah blah. Attack Reflector Unit, Anti-Spell Fragrance, Gale Lizard, and we're back up here. I've gone through all my spells and traps, I don't really have a field spell for machines then. Wasteland's not gonna buff machines, though, right? Uh, let me see here. Like, yeah, that doesn't, like, do anything for me. Did I forget to put in Cyber Phoenix? Where's that at? There it is. Well, let's, uh, let's see. This card is in face-up attack position on your side of the field. Negate the effects of any spell or trap card. It targets a machine monster on your side of the field. This face-up card on the field attacks or is attacked and is destroyed as a result of battle and sent... Oops. The graveyard. You can draw one card from your deck. Hmm. So it looks like the only thing I can do with this deck is, like, stall until I get my fusion. <laughs> That's bad. There we go. Hmm. What can I go for? Got 32 cards there. Jar of Greed, I guess. Mechanical Chaser is stupid powerful, so at least gets that. I need to check, like, the uh, other packs, I guess. Yeah, I gotta put more filler in there for now, don't I? <laughs> oh, well. Axe of Despair. Why not? Um, Yami's not gonna help me. 
Is there a machine field spell at this point in time? I don't even know. Machine conversion factory. Uh, that's something, but it's not amazing. I just need to fill the fill the, the deck with 40 cards so I can get out of the menu. Mass driver. No, not that. Let me see here. Just stall. Just stall. That's all I can do right now until I get a better strat. But. Giant Trunade isn't like limited, is it? Put that in there. One more. Just put in Elf. Alright, so this is a freaking mess. Until I can, uh. Until I can just get something better. All right, I still got points left, so let's check. I've gotten field spells from the uh, continuous trap pack, so equip me, flip the pitcher. Uh, were there any flip effects for um, uh, flip effects for like machine monsters? I can't remember aside from like cyber jar, but I don't really want that thing. For now, let me just buy some of these. Maybe I'll get a field spell that helps. Cyber Dra Dragon's like a light monster, so that could be good. Actually, hang on. Would the Angel Searcher help me? It would let me get Proto Cyber Dragon on the field for plays, I suppose. Hmm. Perhaps more than machines, I should focus on building a light monster deck to kind of work around that. I don't know. Let me check this. That thing, that thing, yummy. Respect play. Uh, that's a field spell, I guess, but only for defense points. Banner of Courage, Archfiend's Oath. Chipping thing, forest, anti spell fragrance. Recycle. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I can't even buy from this pack at all. I don't know what I need to do for that. Maybe gonna beat certain opponents first. The water pack's also been s sold out. I don't know the rules about this at all. Yeah, let's buy some ba basic spells and traps. Why not? They cost 150 a pop, though. Attributes are in a daily cycle. Oh, are they? Okay. Rope of Life. Thunder Ruler. Desert Sunlight. Book of Tayo. Whatever that is. Earthquake. Soul Release. Oh, that's my rare. How nice. Mind Crush. Dark Core. Curse of Anubis. All monsters on your side of the field are changed to defense position. Eh? Of the field move from play. Dimension. Declare a card name. Look at your opponent's hand. If they have the card in their hand, remove that card from play. Uh, remove one random card from my hands. Flip one face down monster on the field to face up attack. Okay. All monsters on the field are changed to defense mode. Let me get a drink here. Yep. Yeah. Not a quick play, though. Add one Buster Blader from your deck or your graveyard to your hand. Dark Core, was that again? Discard from your hand, remove one, remove one face up monster from the field from play. Ha! Huh. Well, that's a discard to just remove something, I guess. That stalls, maybe. When one of your monsters is sent to the graveyard as a result of battle, discard your entire hand to activate this card. Special summon the monster to the field, increase the attack of the monster by 800 points. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> How about some effect monsters, maybe? Flash Assailant, Steel Scorpion, Tainted Wisdom. Oh, that's the hammerhead thing. Probably use that. Ceremonial Bell. 
Pinch Hopper. Ancient Lamp. Tainted Wisdom. When this card is changed from attack position to defense position, shuffle your own deck. What the hell is the point of that? What does shuffling my deck do? <laughs> I don't understand why that's supposed to, like, do anything. When this monster battles an opponent's monster, unless the monster is destroyed by battle to turn an owner's hand, and a damage step. Sandgen has this pack. Or, sorry, this pack has Sandgen, I should say. Sandgen would be good to pop in then, wouldn't it? Ceremonial Bell. Spellcaster. Alright. I'm gonna go for swords. I'm spending all my points now, chat. Let's go. Curse of Aging. Final Destiny. Hell yeah. Let's go. Self-destruct button. Pure scum tactics activated. Cats of your tribe. Hang on. The original attack of your opponent's monsters that battle with this card during his return becomes 200 points during the damage step. Okay. I guess it's destroyed if it... Wait, what? A monster attacked by this card will be destroyed at the end phase of the fifth turn after the attack. <laughs> oh, no! My monster will die in five turns! <laughs> what a garbage effect that is. When this card is normal summon, declare one type of monster. When that battle type of monster increases attack, this card by a thousand points during damage calculation. We'll never see it coming. You can activate this card while your life points are lower than your opponent's, and the difference is 7,000 points or more. Both players' life points become zero. Why would I want to do that? I can't win with that, though. Not good. I can't. What's the point of getting, like, ties in this kind of game? Once this turn, negate one six sided die roll and uh, re roll it. Chosen one. Jade Insect Whistle. Light Poor Sword. It's basically Parish Song, yeah. Alright. So, I have the clunkiest thing here. I have the clunkiest deck you have ever seen, for sure. All right. This thing is just waiting to brick. That's what it's- that's what it is. <laughs> Monarch's at least something there, right? Oh, golly. Uh... Pay a thousand life points, declare a type and attribute. Your opponent must send one monster. Hang on. Both the type and its attribute of his or hand is a great deck to the graveyard. Okay. The Bean Soldier. Hmm, what should I go for? You have no cards here and increase the attack by a thousand points. I got a regular tribute monster. I wonder if that'd be good. Could save me. Put one in. Better than some of the other stuff I have there. Let me see here. Cyber Laser Dragon. Curse of Anubis. All face-up effect monsters in the field are changed to defense position during this turn. This card activated. The original defense of those monsters becomes zero and their battle position cannot be changed to card effect. Cyber Kirin. By tributing this card until the end of this turn, any effect damage inflicted to the controller of this card becomes zero. Oh no. Death Frog. That thing's good. We've got that. Dark Spirit of the Silent. Another Diffusion. Dimension Distortion. We play. Um, I probably should go with two of these because I want them on my first turn if I can, right? Okay. Let me see here. Oh, this is going to be so clunky until I get more stuff for it, but I want to do it. 
I gotta, I gotta try. Uh, your hand size limit becomes seven. Oh, whoopee. So glad I, I checked that. Grass Phantom. Uh... I could throw this in. This helps me stall in as a four-star. Like, something. For now. Anyways, don't need gift. Oh, this is gonna be so clunky and not work at all. This is gonna be so bad. <laughs> Alright, what three cards do I dip from this chat? Axe of Despair. I'm, I'll take Axe over Stimpak. Axe of Despair gives a thousand, though. That could help me beat over and just kind of save time. I don't really want Jar of Greed because it's slow because it's a trap card, honestly. I just kind of put it in there because what the hell. Nightmare Steel Cage is there. Do I really need two giant true nade with how much stuff I'm activating? That there. Mm, I do have a lot of monsters here. Cyber Phoenix got that. Can defend a bit. Do that. Convert. Oh yeah, I kind of put these in here because I um needed to fill the deck. You're right. I forgot about those. They're they're sort of like prime useless. Okay, now I can put in two better things. All right, maybe this will be okay. Two random cards to splash in. What should I go with? Uh, Revival Jam. That kind of just stalls a bit, don't it? But. There's something I could just throw down in defense mode to stall. I don't really want Wabaku because it prompts too much. There we go. There's the other stuff here. That creepy little thing. Tornado Bird. Wood Sprite. Treeborn Frog is that thing. Jami. Uh. During each player's end phase, can special summon one level four normal monster from his or her hand. Bleh. I don't want cyber curing. Rope of life. Self-destruct button. Heck no. Mechanical chaser is pretty nice. I got that in there now. Destroy one monster on your opponent's side of the field. Oh, it's it's just man eater bug. Okay. That's not the worst thing in the world to just kind of stall with, and if it, like... Well, it's not going to survive an attack, though. That's for sure. I don't have Penguin Soldier, no. I don't know. I'll throw that in. I'll replace stuff. There's Man-Eater Bug, but Man-Eater Bug can target my own monsters if there's nothing left there. Oh, wait. I got Lord Poison. Oh, yeah, that. Now I want to do that. mind on air. There's Gearfreed, but he's a warrior in the machine. Can't equip him with stuff. Frozen Soul. Oh, so picky right now. So picky. Earthquake. Dream Clown. Uh, change from attack to defense. Destroy one monster opponent's side of the field. Get this set up. Hmm. I only have one diffusion. I shouldn't put multiple diffusion in there. There's that there. There's Dark Core. Discard something from my hand or remove a face-up monster on the field from play. What's the other thing? I want to use Curse of Anubis. On fast stuff. All defense position monsters get to do that. A boar soldier. This card can only be summoned by a flip summon. If it's summoned by normal summons, destroy your points. One more monster to control and decrease. But wow, I hate that. I really did not want to let old monsters have 2,000 attack. Banner of Courage, heck no. 
darkness. Hmm. So picky, it's just one card. Book of Life. Anything too fancy there. That's just that there. Well, this card is a special one insect type monster. No, I don't want to deal with that. Hang on. And this card is sent to the graveyard unless it was attacked while face down. You can draw one card from your deck. Hmm. I wonder if I can do something with that. I can, like, tribute it. And the effect goes off. It says when it's sent from the face up on the field to the graveyard. Or I could just let the opponent crash into it, honestly. Nightmare Penguin also just kind of throws something back on my opponent's hand. That's also something that's just good and familiar. All right, I'll just put the Penguin in, honestly. All right, I finished making this disaster of a deck. Actually, you know what I could do? Take out one of these. Since I don't really need the machines at all. Uh, where's Penguin? Wasn't it just here? There it is. Penguin's good for, like, stalling stuff. So... And I don't really need the weak machine here, since I don't have proper machine support at all. <laughs> okay. Here comes the crustiest Cyber Dragon deck you've ever seen. Using whatever the hell random vanilla cards I got, I guess. Let me see. Or a black light. Almighty Queen. You were the easy guy to beat because you had the vanilla monsters. You'll do. Okay, did I jump the gun? If I lose this, I will drop out of Duel Academy. I don't think I have the Light Hex Sealed Fusion. Pretty sure I don't. Oh, I go second? Oh no, don't do that. Almighty Queen. Oh, is it still named Water? Okay. I'll do it! Alright. Here I go! My turn. I set a monster. And I drew all monsters. I am my turn. Alright. Now then, no spell or traps right off the bat. Okay, hang on. Wrong button, silly. Option. Let me turn that off. Let me see here. This phase up card of the field is attacked in the graveyard. Sure, all those are in the graveyard. You can draw one card from your deck. Okay. Also works. However, I can also just throw down Mechanical Chaser and probably destroy whatever he's got. Oh, he's got a fusion thing. Go on. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Got nothing. You got nothing. He's got nothing, chat. He can't fight me. Did I not just press the... Come on. Turn end. Let's draw a power bond, please. Sonic made. Oh no. Why would you put that in attack mode, you idiot? Good job. Good job, dummy. I got the monarch and I don't even need it. <laughs> so bad. Get him. Well then, I got nothing. Oh, cool. I'm glad you get to do that. Warrior of tradition. Whoa, he's doing stuff. 
He's doing stuff, chat. <laughs> it's not going well for him. I'm trying to stall and I'm not even getting it. <laughs> I'm not even getting it. Bro, I'm not even trying and you're just blowing this heart of the underdog. Oh no. Hey, Cyber Dragon, check it out. Ain't that something. All right. Probably should have threw you down then, but okay. Destroy up to two. Do that. Nope. All right, that's that. I'm going to win. I probably picked the... Like, this guy is just, like... He's the most Goomba duelist out of the entire academy. He can't do anything except summon, like, the weakest vanilla monster. So he literally cannot win. At least my my deck can kind of just beat down people if I don't draw immediately draw a power bond and all that stuff. Oh, look, Yomi ship. Like, it's actually silly how I'm getting away with this. There we go. Let him live. Give him one more turn. Impress me. Kunai with chain. Look at me go. Flip. Oh no! Not the flip effect. He doesn't just have old vanilla monsters, he has old, like, vanilla lady monsters. I win. Dual bonus, heck yeah, look at all these bonuses. Tribute summon bonus, no spell or traps, 30 points. Next time I relax more, let's duel again. Hmm... Can I beat? Let's go outside. Girls dorm. Let's go see if I can beat that guy. Duran special. It was him, right? What do you like better? Dark magician girl or injection fairy lily? A female spirit appears. Let me know, okay? Duel, I'd prefer to be asked by a girl. <laughs> I'm busy looking for girls, so let's make it real quick. Come on, let's duel. I don't want time to waste. This dude, 100%, in uh, the modern day, he would be, like, sending DMs to several artists, asking them to draw, like, Dark Magician Girl or, like, Injection Fairy Lily. Certain kinds of pictures, let's say. Let's go. My deck is still called Water, because all it does is frickin' wash. I got Future Fusion. Nice. In Chaser, let's go. Then I release a Fusion Monster, and that's like that one Fusion Monster from your Fusion deck, especially some of that monster, and you just think it's the by page. Let's do it! Who do I want to summon? I want to summon Cyber and Dragon, of course. Yeah, let's do it. All right, it's gonna be coming, chat. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna activate all his battle traps and we're gonna kill this piece of crap. Wait, future fusion is glitched in this game? Wait a second. Uh, I think maybe someone mentioned that in episode one. Wait, wait, wait a second. Let me see here. Select fusion monster the list of you and select one fusion monster from the next special limited monster in the same way as the next card is made. Okay. Uh what happened? Future fusion is glitched. You can activate it even when you don't have materials in your deck. Uh it's working fine so far. So 
So if I didn't have the three Cyber Dragons in my deck, it would still activate and let me summon Cyber End? Really? That is busted. That is stupid busted. But I'm using it legit, chat. I guess. Anyways, I made him discard there, so when we get back here... That sounds like a beneficial glitch to me. Hmm, do not want to activate Nightmare? Not really. Let's let him do something. Go ahead. Share the pain. Let's do this. Yomi ship. Here we go. I gotta test that out. All I have to do is basically summon one of my cyber dragons and act, try and activate it and see if it works. But won't it get glitched if I, like, am able to select the first two cyber dragons and it won't let me select the other one? I don't know. Anyways, I got that on board. Hmm. I'm wondering, though. Gotta deal with that back row. If I go into an armor, that's gonna be real bad. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I'm gonna worry. Do it. Do it! Yeah! Destroyed the waifu. Alright, that works. End phase, I guess. Slaughtered him. Couldn't power bond it. Smashing ground. Uh-oh. Well, there goes that. Hmm. Giant true nade will do that. I'll do this and get rid of his monster. Tribute that. I can't fuse anything anymore. All I can do is just beat him down. Well, should have used these earlier, but it's fine. And there's Power Bond. Can do that to get Monarch. Activate another one, because why not? Uh, gosh, what do I want? <laughs> I technically could get two Proto Cyber Dragons on board and power bond them, but that's all kind of hard to set up now. I don't know, just give me a mechanical chaser. <laughs> I don't know. And that's that, I guess. End phase. Oh, I still have this in the deck. And we're gonna get rid of that. Turn end. He's got Magician's Valkyrie. Or Valkyria. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do I have something to summon? I do. Okay, then. I have no choice but to summon it because of the, the way the trap card works, right? Oh well. And Yomi ship destroys. Alright. Well, that worked out for me now, didn't it? Hmm. I can just summon mechanical... I can use giant trunade and then just attack, the, attack you there. Let's do it. I'm getting rid of your monster. Pop. Throw that down. Go on. I know you want to set up it up again. 
Hey, it's Win. I like Win. I don't like having this guy uh, have Win in his deck because he's weird. Mage power is activated. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, perfect. Now we do this. This deck is clunky as hell, but I'm still wi I'm still winning with it. <laughs> I almost pressed no. I almost pressed no. Oh yeah, Dust Tornado. What was the other one? Oh right, with Mage Power. What was the face down? What am I saying? All right, time to kill her. Let me hydrate here, yes siree. Turn end, buddy. His waifu beatdown can't stand up to this. Hmm. Well, can throw you down. You're gonna help out. I don't think he's going to have anything that can defend against Hammerhead, so let's see. Oh, he did. He had DD Warrior Lady. But it sends it right back to his hand. Mobius is just kicking ass. This thing's too good. I don't even need Cybertech Alligator in there at all. What did I get this from? I got this from the Water Attribute Pack. I honestly should just get like three copies of this to run alongside things. Because even if I just have Cyber Dragon in my hand, I can kind of just, like, special summon it, then just throw down, more, like, Mobius, and then just, uh, boop the back row. It works. Here it comes. About to destroy the waifu deck, chat. Never stood a chance. Guarantee it safely wins. I should probably approach the deck, uh, this deck a little differently. Like, what I should do is put in all the Cyber Dragon stuff, but I should make it, like, the main thing. I should put in, like, a bunch of staples, like, more Mobius, and just make it easier to stall and tribute summon stuff. That way, like, I can still do stuff with Cyber Dragon if needed. Because I don't think I really need a machine deck, so to speak. Mechanical Chaser works just fine, because the 1850. But I don't have Cyberstein, so I can't, like, do the ultimate cheese, you know what I mean? Hmm, <laughs> 699. Hmm. <laughs> I can lose to you. I can't lose to a guy. Next time we do, I'll bring a cute girl with you, okay? Why? Dude. So weird. This dude is so weird. Hmm. Is it just me? I noticed something, chat. Look at this, look at this. Notice how when I walk to the right, my character's, like, one of his sprite sheets is actually, like, like, kind of wrong. It kind of pulsates, but when I walk to the left, it doesn't. See that? Look at that. Nothing? But when I walk to the right, there's one... There's one frame in the uh, in the walk cycle that's just slightly off. It's also in the back of my head too. Walking on the left, it's fine, but yeah, somebody messed up part of the walk cycle. That's funny. <laughs> I noticed. All right. I should get more points so I can keep working on this deck right now. Um, I'll be right back though. I'm just gonna use the washroom. All right, I'm back. Let's continue. I'm gonna keep getting some points. I'm just gonna duel this guy. Wanna duel? Oh my, how exciting. Of course I will. Let's fight till the bitter end. All right. Draw. Well, I already hit first. Now we go. My deck is still called Water. Alright, Power Bond. Now we wait. Let him attack into me. 
So I can get my free draw, I hope. Stand by. Main phase. He's going for Pot of Greed. Greed the Brave Warrior. Removing two light monsters in your graveyard, destroy one face up monster in the field that with an attack higher than this card, you can only use this effect once per turn. Okay, he's attacking. Yep, go ahead, attack me. Uh, did it not go off? Hang on. Oh, right, it has to be a face up attack for that one part. Uh, hang on a second, right, let me reread this. And Jab Guard, once you know that when this face up card on the field attack. Oh, it has to be. Yeah, it has to be face up for it. Oops. Oh well. I thought that second part of it wasn't for the face up part. Oh well. Now we know. Set that thing. Maybe running that thing at three probably isn't as good as I thought. The Marauding Captain. What's he doing? Uh, okay. Hang on. Yep, that's fine. And now I can bop that back to your hands. Alright. Draw phase, Proto Cyber Dragon. You got a piece of one thing. Now I need a real Cyber Dragon in my hand. Oh, this deck is so clunky. I really need more things for it. I feel like I should just go back to the water deck until I can, like, get more stuff, sadly. Read the Matchless General and negate the effect of any spell card that targets this card and destroy it. As long as this card remains face upon the field, it can attack... Or sorry, it can add one level four lower warrior monster from your deck to your hand per turn instead of drawing card from your deck. During your draw phase, you can shuffle your deck. Oh, then shuffle your deck, sorry. Okay. It's declaring battle. It's going for it again. Sending it back. It was all a waste. Okay. Now I got Hammerhead... Another thing to stall with, because why the heck not? Oh. That also, uh, is a thing. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. See if I care. See if I care. End turn. You're free of the Iron Knights. Yeah, let him attack me. <sighs> Dust Tornado. Now all I can do is just stall with you, huh? Oh well. Let's see what I can do. Breathe the Brave Warrior. Okay, yeah, let's activate this. Flip into defense mode and hope I draw something good. Kunai with chain. Can't really do a whole lot, can I? I... No, that's not how that works for gear free. What am I saying? Ah! Darn, I don't like how clunky this is. I think I'm just gonna have to put this off until I have, like, way better stuff. And setting this means I can't use it right away, right? Like, it still has to be, like, down for a turn. problem. Yeah, yeah, just finish me off. I, I don't like playing this deck now. <laughs> I need more staples to just splash in with, like, the Cyber Dragon stuff. Okay. Hang on, let me double check how that works. Why does it go up here? Change battle position, the attacking monster defense position, quick this card by 500 points. It's not going to save it for, like, most of the damn thing anyway. So just do this. Just finish me off. 
We're gonna eat crap for this. Direct attack. At least I beat Duran. Oh, there's the Monarch. Oh, too late now. Yeah, he's gonna attack me for game now. <laughs> I can't use this right now. He's got another gear freed. Direct attack. No, go ahead. Finish me. I can't do anything to stop you. Hey! Your life points have been reduced to zero. 38 points. Oh boy, one splendid. Let's play again someday. All right. Deck at it. So I have to do, do that from recipe viewer, actually. Load recipe. Do we even want to bother saving when I have right now? I probably should. Do that. There we go. And we'll just save it on two, because why not? Load recipe. There we go. Now... With this, I've got my Monarch. Yeah, it's been fine. You're set at that. Hmm, should be okay, as it is now. Still need more cards for it. It'll work just fine. Okay. Now, who are you? Hmm. I could test my luck and try dueling someone like you. Why the hell not? Turn on the effects. A duel? Oh, you want to duel with me? All right, let's duel. This is going to go so well. Last time I dueled a random obelisk blue girl, I actually won, but it was silly. Sentinel Black Flame. That sounds extreme, but I've got water. Thanking you in advance. Her twin tails look a lot larger on her uh, thing there. Okay, let's set the Mother Grizzly. Here I come. My turn. Draw. I summon my monster in attack position. This card is unaffected by the effect of trap cards. Okay. Let's battle. Now attack with my monster. Alright, let's activate the effect. Select a monster. Be good to just bring Starboy on the field. The monster I summon this turn is going to have a buff now. I set a card. I'm sure you do. I'm ending my turn. Okay, draw phase. Now then. I'm going to special summon you. And we're going to summon you. Activate the effect. We're gonna boop that back row. What do we got? It was shrink, okay. Now then. You might be in trouble. Hmm, we can still easily summon something to beat over that still. Uh, why is it? Oh, right, I decreased the attack of all fire monsters by 400. Starboy could rip. Probably realistically be safe, but it could still get beat over and I want to keep the boost for everything in the coming turn So I probably could just stim pack it for heavy damage as well. I'm gonna do it. Why not? I'm gonna be silly and do it star boy kill Ah, uh. You're dead You're dead
Direct attack. 4 4 50. She's already on about half dead, chat. Nothing on the field. About to school this person. Here I come. My turn. Why is it that the obelisk dorm is the only one that has the girls dorm? Like, there's no women characters in Slifer or Raw. Except Blair, but that that's literally a different story. Because of how because of how why they're there. Attributing this face-up card. Destroy a monster on the field. Uh-oh. I'm using a monster effect. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, the monarch's gone. What will I do? What a problem we've gotten ourselves into, chat. What a situation. Eek. Yeah, you take damage. Get ready, take some more damage. Like, they have, an they have a whole separate building for the girl's dorm, and Slifer and Raw don't have that. Why is it like that? Here they go. I'll set a monster. I'm ending my turn. Next player's turn. About to get that perfect victory right here, chat. Ooh. Alright. First, I'm gonna attack you with the Goo Goo Gaga. Or it's the Black Flame Dragon. I'm sorry, did you say she was using meta cards? Eek. Because I just slaughtered her. You win! I gave up. Yes, you did. And you were destroyed for it. 291. Duelist bonus was 200. Imagine if I got a level up on that. Never thought I'd be be beaten so badly, even with my terrible memory. Well, bye. Don't forget me. Who was she again? Lily. Nisa. Uh, let's duel you. Alright, just normal duel. I'm not gonna hold back. At this point, I'm mainly gonna focus on my water deck, but I can get some more stuff for Cyber Dragons. Oh my god, we're still doing this? Okay. First to go. I'm gonna need to just... I feel like I need a lot more cards to make that Cyber Dragon stuff work consistently. The only thing I can really do other is just kind of stall until, like, I get my stuff. And it's not, like... It's gonna get annoying to play like that. Okay. What can we go for? Could just summon a monster on board first and see if he attack into me. Hmm... I don't know what Weeping Kings are. You can also just set down the steel cage and live. Maybe. Maybe. Let me see here. I don't know what your cards are, and this isn't the great hand for me to decide what to do going first. <laughs> All right, then. I'm just gonna set you and see what you do. Go for it. You ready? She looks angry. Draw! This is it. I summon a monster in attack position. DD Warrior Lady. You can remove from playing opponent's monster in this card. Okay. Battle. Go! My monster attack! I'm shocked the AI didn't decide to do it anyway. I end my turn. Alright, my turn. I special summon this thing. And then I'm gonna boop your monster out of oblivion. Ooh. And I'm gonna summon this thing. 
And then I'm gonna beat your ass. Don't activate Sakuretsu armor. Ah. Uh, heck yeah. Cyber Dragon attacks. Ah. Look at that. Already half one. My turn. She sure moved her lips a lot just to say, <laughs> just say my turn. I sent a card. I end my turn. Okay, Dust Tornado's a thing. I'm gonna summon the Star Boy. Things are getting watery around here. Did I win? Did I just win? Oh no. But I didn't get to see what your strategy was. Ah. <laughs> you have a heart attack there? What? Me lose? What a duel. All right, then. I guess I win. Can't believe it. Never thought I would get beaten so badly. Let's duel again. Y'all are so easy. Easy chumps. All right. What if I duel my boy Zane again? This right, he's going to be my tag partner for a first thing. Yen, heaven, and hell. I'm a duel ya. Alright, I accept your challenge. I win. I'm going first. Normal duel. Ultimate Mecha Dragon. Challenge me. Fine, I'll take you on. Thanks for summoning their friend. Alright, I sent a turtle. I put a card down. You're not heavy storming me today. I'm not putting them all down. Here goes my turn. I draw. I don't know why my voice got progressively more and like nerdy there. Oh no, he's got the nobleman. He's really scared of flip effect monsters. Uh-oh. Pot of Greed. Can I get Pot of Greed from any of the packs right now? I hope I, do. I can. Like, from the basic spell pack thing. Because that would be a really good thing to just kind of splash into my deck, I think. Let's battle. Here I go. My monster attacks you directly. Does it now. Here it goes. Come to think of it, I haven't done anything with that sandwich I got yet. Um, 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 um. Oh, no, that's that. Hang on, this destroys its effect, right? And this room was trying to. Okay, no, it doesn't negate its effect. I gotta beat over it, though, so let's do that. Area of the Fountain, beat its ass. My monster effect activates. Bet you never seen this one coming. Whoa. Ah. Uh. There it goes. I'll set this just in case. I'll set negate attack just in case I need to use it to negate any spell cards. You never know. Uh-oh. He special summoned it. Uh-oh. 
What are you doing with those, Zane? What are you doing? What are you doing with those, Zane? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This guarantees my victory. You're done. He summoned the thing. That flash effect at the end so annoying. All right. Cyber Twin Dragon's here now, chat. What's he gonna do with it? Time for battle. Can you stop this attack? Go! He punches. All right. I stop the attack with this. That ends my turn. Okay. Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dragon, a fusion summon this card can only be conducted with the... Hang on. This card can attack twice during the same battle phase. Alright, so I can just beat over it with Axe of Despair, basically. Problem is, I'm worried about that back row. What if he does something silly with that back row, chat? You never know. Oh, I can't... Sp oh, I can't special summon you yet. Hmm. I guess I do have to tribute summon to get that off, don't I? All right. Don't magic cylinder me. Don't magic cylinder me. Don't magic cylinder me. Don't. Don't activate magic cylinder. Don't. Just don't. Just don't activate magic cylinder and we'll have a good time today. Huh? All right, good. Not done. Get him. Alright, he had nothing. He probably just... I don't know what he's probably set. Does Zane's deck even use, like, the, the laser or barrier dragon? Even the devs must have known how bad it was, right? Alright, here we go. Life has many attack boosts, Starboy. Alright, I have almost a 4k beater on my field now. That's good. Get his ass. Get his ass. Drilago. <laughs> you poor fool, Zane. Oh, I, I guess I could have killed him if I would have used that attack. Or wait, no, no, there's no face-up target. Never mind, what am I saying? I wouldn't have been able to use that attack, or use that spell. better than I thought. Zane can't do a thing. I'm too strong. I'm too good at the video game now, chat. Water monsters. I never give up. My turn. I set a monster. I end my turn. Well, looks like somebody's about to get their ass handed to him. Chat, you want to see some overkill? I'll show you some overkill. Heavy mech support platform. Let's go. We got him. How did this happen? I made no mistakes. You lost a card game. Get over it. That many points for Zane. Duelist. Wow, he's giving me less less of a duelist bonus than like the, the obelisk blue ladies. You're getting better. Good job. Damn right, I'm getting better. This jacket isn't red because I'm in Slifer. It's stained with the blood of my opponents. All right. I should probably duel some other characters now too. Maybe unlock their deck pack, see if I can get some good spells from them. Um, I kind of want revenge against Alexis, because I'm petty like that. I already got most of Zane's pack cards.
Uh, now I just gotta get ready for tomorrow's class. Let's duel. A duel sounds great. Let's have a revenge chat. I'm not really looking to build a fusion thing right now, honestly. Like, the Cyber Dragon thing, I'm sure I can get that working down the line, but I can't do the same thing I did in a uh, Duel Academy, where I just kind of cheese out Cyberstein and then just, like, freaking power bond in the Cyber End Dragon and FTK. Or, you know, hit the Magic Cylinder and, like, uh, lose first turn. How about this? I summon a monster in attack position. Command Knight. All right, this is the one that just uh, commands you attack only him, right? Let's see. Also, this card remains face up on the field. Increase attack your warrior monsters by 400 points. Okay. Which includes itself. So if you get two of those on the field, I can't attack anything. All right. I'm going to activate my spell. Umi. Just set that. Only that much, so I'll beat over it with this, I hope. Ah, uh, why would you do that? What are you doing? I reveal my face down card. Attack and receive. Activate this card when you uh, take damage to your life points. Inflict 700 points to damage to your opponent's life points. 300 points to damage to your opponent's for each attack and receive. Oh no! Minor inconvenient burn damage. Oh, you! How dare you! How dare you! Well, I guess my turn's over. It's my turn. Is Alexis the only like obelisk student with like the blue gloves? Everyone else doesn't have the gloves, but she just needs them to look cool or something. Okay. I don't need Monarch right now, because there's no back row to boop. Let me just throw down the beast, why don't I? Unless you got, like, Penguin Soldier. That was something I really hated about Duel Academy, is that every single person in the game had, like, the same five staples splashed in their deck, and one of them was, like, um... It was, like, Hane Hane and Penguin Soldier. So, every time someone set a monster, it was basically like, alright, is, is my whole field going back to my hand today? That got real freaking annoying. Everyone had Jinzo. Everyone had Mirror Force. It was really annoying to deal with. I'm using my monster's effect. Oh no, she's burning me. She's burning me, chat. Ugh. <laughs> Burn damage. Everyone with three magic cylinders and like the, the little nimble Momonga too. Well, I guess that's that. My move now. It's my turn. I draw. From my hand, I activate Snatch Steel. She's gonna steal. That's illegal, chat. What am I gonna do about that? <laughs> Uh-oh. There goes your big gameplay. Everyone also had Snatch Steel in Duel Academy. Didn't they? When I say Duel Academy, I'm referring to the Game Boy Advance game. It was literally just called Duel Academy. Well, I guess I'll set Turtle and get ready to Monarch or another Amphibian Beast next turn. I think so I've seen Rota in this game so far. Here's my Monsters effect. There's a, you can special summon Earth Warrior Monster from Yusa. Okay. Here's my Cyber Girl. I special summon my monster. Here's my Cyber Girl. Sounds like something like a creepy person would like comment under like uh, some like woman YouTuber's like uh, Twitter post or something. That's my Cyber Girl. <laughs> something like something Duran would do. There we go. I have nothing left. And you summon that thing. Turtle wouldn't have been able to beat over it. Hmm. Hmm. 
my turn, I draw. From my hand, I got that thing. I know what that does. It gives me it gives you 700 uh, attack power. Fight. I attack with my monster. What will I do, chat? <laughs> Foolish Alexis. You took burn damage now. How's it feel? Alexis is, like, making some grand gestures and, like, doing nothing. Do I... Re I don't even need the summon, like, uh, Monarch yet. I can just save that. <laughs> Let's just keep beating down. It's fish time, chat. This game is what would happen if Mako Tsunami went to Duel Academy. Or no, sorry, Mako Tsunami would have, have like a worse, worse deck for sure. You take damage when that goes to the graveyard. No, you put it back to the top of your deck? Why would you do that? What? What, what, why would you attack that? I put that there for a reason. <laughs> I like how surprised she is. Like, what, what, you can't just do that. You can't just attack my monster. Has Mako won a duel? Didn't he have like two duels in the entire series? One against Yugi and one against Joey in Battle City. I end my turn. Oh, did she give up? I think she gave up. Well then, let's bully. Arg. Yeah, I just won. I just won. She didn't even do anything. You thought my deck was clunky. I guess hers is, uh, isn't working so good for her. My water deck is actually pretty nice. I can appreciate how much more consistent it's been after messing around with that terrible Cyber Dragon stuff. There we go. I'm sounding like a Yu-Gi-Oh villain. Of course I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh villain. I play Yu-Gi-Oh. Anyone that plays Yu-Gi-Oh is a villain. Haven't you heard? Name one good person that plays Yu-Gi-Oh. You can't. Exactly. I never thought you'd be this much stronger than me. Two thirty-eight. Duelist bonus one hundred. Oh come on, you can do better than that, Alexis. This can't be. I lost? No way, I can't believe I lost. Alright. I had my revenge chat. How about we duel her uh, cronies as well? A duel? You want to duel, duel with me, Slifer? He got guts. Do these two ever actually have cards, or do they just, like, stand in the background? I'll go first. Harpies dance? Wait, 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 wait. You're the harpy player? Maybe if you beat me, I'll respect you a little. Oh, they they got custom animations, chat. All right. I'm gonna throw down a face down. I love saying that. There we go. People, some people get mad when I say that, but they also get mad when I call him Jaden instead of Judai. Like, I'm not playing the English game. <laughs> well... All right, end turn. I refuse to lose to you. My turn. Draw. I summon Harpy's brother. That's not a Harpy card, chat. It's Sky Scout, remember? That's not a real Harpy card. Follow wind. Uh-oh. No, stop it, Jasmine. I can't handle this. No, stop. <laughs> you poor fool. You've been bamboozled. You've been schmeckledorfed. I win again. Now then, what do I do? I guess I'll just play a monster and attack India, because why the hell not? Hmm. Return one card on the field, the other's hand. If you got a battle trap, I'm just gonna let it go off, because why the hell not? Uh, 
That was cruel. You beat me in a card game. She got nothing. She got nothing, chat. Nothing. Tarpy's brother, Scott. No, the card was called Sky Scout in Japan, but they named it Harpy's brother in English. And it caused problems, because it's not supposed to be uh, compatible with, like, Harpy support cards. So, um, they had to change the name to, like, Sky Scout in English once, like, archetypes kind of became a thing. No, I didn't want to do that. Damn it. Stop it. Anyways, nothing I can do about it. It's just going to boot my uh, field spell. Cyber Harpy Lady. What is so cyber about her? I never understood that. Oh, she didn't attack. Okay. Oh no! What will I do? Her back row card there isn't, like, uh, doing anything. So I can attack into her. Let's do it. Activate the effect of that. Nope. I don't even need the Summon Monarch. She's wearing the Cyber Bondage card. Oh yeah, that was another name that they changed in English for obvious reasons. There we go. Don't believe me? Just search up Harpy Lady Bondage and find out. I have the dumbest smile on my face for that joke. <laughs> I pretty much just beat over her now. I know her face down's not gonna do anything. So let's get her. What? That sounds like it could only yield good results. No, there's literally an equip spell called like uh, Cyber Bondage. I'm not even joking, but they, and obviously they changed the name in English. I think it's just called, like, Cyber Armor now. I don't know. Harpy's brother. Uh, obviously not with Starboy. Let's just attack you. Fell asleep and just woke up to Harpy Lady Bondage. I'm talking about renaming cards. Because <laughs> they did that. Oh, stop Googling it. I'm joking. Well, not about the card, but you, you don't Google that exact term. You know what you're in for if you do that. You know exactly what's going to happen if you use those exact words, but it's a real card. There we go. End turn, I guess. Cyber Shield is the name now. Okay, it wasn't Cyber Armor. Premature Burial. I paid life points. What are you gonna do? Oh no, she brought out the Cyber Harpy Lady. We'll battle. Starboy is dead. Super dead. I end my turn. Well, I got Axe of Despair. She's dead. I don't even need to, uh... Do I really want to just go with Monarch? Can I attack for game if I do that? With Stimpak and Axe of Despair, pretty much, actually. I just boop the back row and beat over the monster. Alright, here you go. There goes that. All right, I need some quick math here, chat. Uh, 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 yeah, so I can win. <laughs> more than enough, way more than enough. I highly doubt she has Karibo in her hand or something like that. All right, chat. Just gonna put all that on you. <laughs> well, she didn't put up much of a fight. Cyber Shield wasn't released in English until like the 5D's era. Really? They were that scared of the card? They didn't they didn't even bother to release a renamed version until then. That's funny. 
So Harpy Lady didn't even have her equip spell for like the longest time. I mean, it wasn't very good, but it's still funny as hell. All right, I win. I can't believe you're just a big meanie. That's right, I am, chat. You think I'm a meanie? She says I'm a meanie. 242? Come on, we can do better than that. All right, let's bait up the other one. Aw, can't believe it has to be luck. That's enough. Get lost. All right. A duel? That's fine with me. Let's get her. Local streamer bullies... Hot dude! What? What is that deck? <laughs> you want to be my friend, you have to at least be competent in dueling. Alright, let's go. I still have this in my deck. Honestly, I should get rid of it at some point. Hmm. Let's hope you don't have, uh... Let's hope you don't have Heavy Storm. Let's see. Hot dude, it's my move. Draw! They're handsome! Uh, um... Uh, that animation just glitched? Alright, she got a Harpy's brother and she called it handsome. Your opponent's about to end their turn. Alright, my turn ends. Okay, so she's just like the opposite of Duran, but it's not weird because she's designed to be a cute girl. Let's go. That's how it works. Hmm. I'm gonna have to just attack into that back row, won't I? Oh, damn. That's a problem. She's gonna have battle traps. Ah, do I want to throw Amphibian Beast down? I feel like I'm just gonna crash into Harpy's brother, because why not? Because I want to activate the battle traps and make her use them up, because I know she's gonna have some, for sure. I'm using a face-down card. Yeah, yeah, she had some silly stuff. Have the attack of all your opponent's monsters. Pay 200 life points during each of your standby phases if you do not destroy this card. Okay. So... Now I'm going to be at 900 and... Yeah, no. It's the damage step. No. Yeah, go right ahead. Hmm. Basically can't do a whole lot there. Hmm. Anime girl and hot dude decks are fine. Just don't be a creeper about it. Exactly. That's all you gotta do. Just... Everything is fine. You wanna play... What, what are they call? What are the kids calling it today? Sky Strikers? That's the waifu deck of the, the, of the modern era. If, as long as you're not, like, bringing weird art of them on, the, like, your sleeves or something to your locals, I don't think anyone cares. And that's perfectly fine. 77% of chat thinks that I'm a meanie. You made a poll? Of course. Of course. Got a lot of Harpy fans in chat today, apparently. Well, I can't really do much now, can I? Hang on, let me double check this thing. I'm not sure turn this card your fan. I don't want to send Mirror Wall back to her hand. I want her to destroy it by not paying the cost. So let's just go with that. My turn. You like this poll? I'm not a meanie. I'm a duelist. Oh, she's actually paying the cost? <laughs> okay. I'll let her do that till I draw a dust tornado. Why... Why are her animations in particular glitching? This has never been an issue until her. Dimensional drifter who not only practices sorcery, but is also a sword and martial arts master. Never considered, um, Neo the Magic Swordsman a Husbando card. 
There we go. hi yeah, My monster attacks! Okay. Declared battle. I want to activate this during the damage step so I can get the attack boost and then you attack and die in into it. Because I'm not attacking, so Mirror Wall won't do anything. So I say no. And, oh, yeah, I say yes. Ah. Uh, that doesn't work. I end my turn. Okay. Guess I'll set Nightmare Penguin, and next turn I'll tribute it once it's flipped up and put Amphibian Beast down. She's practically losing her own life points for me. I don't even need to do anything. <laughs> so, I get halved. I can't hit Neo. It's my move. My turn. Draw. Check out the card details. Oh, no, she didn't pay the cost. I'll battle. Uh. No, stop, Mindy. Stop. What do I do? <laughs> Imagine if, like, all of a sudden the animation's glitched and, like, her head just twisted upside down. That'd be funny. Um. Let's just get rid of your body. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Why would I do that? I set a monster. Oh, she still had a normal summon. I thought she used that. I set a card. She probably just reset Neo then. I should be okay, I hope. I might be attacking into a battle trap now, but I kind of don't care. I don't... I think I'll be fine. I'm using a face now. Oh, you had another copy, huh? Okay. Okay, bro. I mean, okay, sis. Oh, I still was able to beat over it. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, wait, when it says have the attack of all your opponents attacking monsters... Oh, is that permanent? Is that permanent when I attack, or is it, like, reset after the end of the phase? Uh, I'm kind of confused about the wording on that. It's forever? Oh, damn. Yeah, that's mean. Okay, then. It's while the card remains on the field. I, yeah, it's continuous, so that would make sense. Mirror Wall is an older card. Uh, does it have, like, is this up updated wording, or is it the original wording? Because I know that, like, some old cards are infamous for having some, like, uh, weird, like, wording that can be construed a certain way. But obviously, like, the game can only be programmed to do, like, one singular thing, I think. Like, what is, what is it called? It's, like, the, the card memory rules or something? Like, the card remembers what it did on the field or something like that? Okay. You gotta be an attorney to play this game, exactly. Ooh, I'm thinking what to do here. I think I'll just main phase two. Let's see if she pays the cost. I'll get my attack points back if she... In that case, maybe I should have attacked her, but I don't think it would have been worth it that much, just in case things go sour. No, she didn't want to pay it. I said a monster. There's a reason Crowler has a PhD in dueling. He was playing, like, uh, Ancient Gear before they were, like, good, right? I know, I can't remember what it is, but I think Ancient Gear had, like, two or three cards that were stupid really good against, like, some meta thing at the time. It was, like, their field spell or something. I can't re quite recall. Alright, I'm gonna summon Abyss Soldier. All right, Mindy, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna attack, and you're not gonna activate Mirror Wall. You're not gonna activate Mirror Wall. You're not gonna activate it. Chain Thrasher, hang on, I wanna see what you're looking at here. 
Okay. Now, hang on. We gotta check the details. Can I not... Oh, I can't zoom in on it. Okay. <laughs> Going with, like, the anime lad. Alright. Let's get ya. Get her ass. He looks like a JRPG protagonist. There we go. There's no... That's no way to treat a lady. There we go. Destroyed. Okay. Guess that's that. These two, like, Mindy and Jasmine can't be, like, partner characters, can they? Because I noticed there's a couple of side characters with unique portraits you can't do much with. Like, Blair, for example, doesn't have, like, any jingles when after, like, I dueled them. Um, this card can... Oh, okay, it's Sylphied. All right, it's just the wind spirit thing where you banish something in your graveyard to summon it. Cybernetic Magician. Discard one card from your hand. The attack one face up monster in the field becomes 2,000 until the end phase of this turn. Huh. Okay. Uh... Okay. I activate a monster effect. Oh no. What will I do? <laughs> Poor Mindy. No, I don't need to check the details. Well... I guess I win, chat. Let's kill her now. Oh, boy. I think anyone can be a partner, but for a first playthrough, you're very much encouraged to choose one of the main seven characters as a partner. That would make sense. There we go. No! That was not cool. Mindy might be the only person to play Yu-Gi-Oh for the Husbandos. No, that's a lie, and I know it. Not bad. You're pretty good. I'll see you later. Alright, that was that. Okay. Now, what the heck do, should I do? Hmm, I got quite a bit of points. Not really gonna get much of a chance to... I don't really get much of a chance to, like, buy water water packs because they're not rolled for today, right? Let's beat up some guys here, like this Goomba. Dual effects off. A duel? Of course, I'd love to. You ready to duel? Yes, I am. Yeah, that's a good question. When do I actually get to the tag duels in uh, Tag Force? Like, do I really just have to wait 90 days for the tournament to start for that? That seems like, um, a long time to wait for the, the namesake. Clown Brigade? What, what is this, what is this man playing? Clowns? There's clown cards? I thought there were, like, two of them at this era. Sundays are tag duel days. Oh, it's a day of the week? Did they say that and I missed that? Because I genuinely don't know if I remember hearing something like that. Shadow spell. Hmm. I'm gonna throw you down. I'm gonna end my turn. There are six clown cards. Hell yeah. Watch your opponent's side of the field. Alright. Oh no! Don't do that! I know I can just skip days, but I also want to, um... Please select the monster, okay. I also just want to get grind lots of points to get more cards, because that's really worked out well for me. Like, my deck is, even though it's like a ba kind of a basic water deck, it's really good. Like, in, with how I've been able to set it up. If I can just get, like, some more good staples, like maybe Pot of Greed, and uh, some other shenanigans, I can make it just like a really quick beatdown deck. 
in the future, I'd imagine that, like, because of things like Summon Skull as well, maybe a Dark Beatdown deck would also be really good. There we go. Here we go. Yeah, well, I want to run around the game and play stuff, too. There's a reason why a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! games have this water deck as a starting option. You can see why it's good. Anyways... So we got Starboy on there. Hmm. And the clown's there. I summon you, but I could just I'll also just stim pack you there, I suppose. Do this. Starboy's going for the clown. Just grinding in free duel sounds a little boring. Running around and looking at the wacky character animations and dialogue is also fun. Plus, if I beat, like, characters, I get, like, affinity points or something with them. Right? And that's what you're supposed to do? Excellent. Hmm. Okay. That should be more than good enough for now. End turn. Yeah, this game's a dating sim. Let's ignore the dating sim elements. Please. That's what we should go for. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll summon Aqua Spirit, because why the hell not? Remove it from play. Instead of kissing, we just duel. Do I get to learn about their tragic backstory and get to reload a save because I made a wrong choice that locks me onto a bad ending? I'm gonna set a penguin. Alright. Get his ass. What's that? Penton? Uh, pe uh, Petten? Eaton? The Dark Clown? When this card is sent to your graveyard, you can remove this card from the graveyard to special summon one Pete and the Dark Clown from your hand or deck. Oh no. Oh no. Don't do that. Oh no. More clowns. What are we gonna do? What makes something a dark clown? It just unlocked like the forces of evil? What happened? The creature is supposed to be one of entertainment, and now it has turned to the forces of darkness or whatever. Well, I guess that's that. Turn endo. We got bad vibes. Ryu Kishin powered. Okay. Battle phase. Hey, bro, that's a cool idea. What if we put a stop to that? Uh-oh. Somebody had their turn ruined. You're letting me just build up my whole field. It's like you want to lose, bro. Well. Time to slaughter people, chat. Let's get his ass. Ha. Yeah, don't activate the effect. Too scared to. Ha. Go over there and punch. All clowns are evil by default. Maybe. Hmm. Well, I guess my turn's over. You try and do something, buddy. Hmm. I can destroy Stimpak. If I destroy this... Hang on. Increase its attack. Its attack... Its attack. If I destroy this, will it, uh, give Starboy? It's a... No, wait, it's... Right now, it's still higher than normal. <laughs> I don't even need to do that. Okay. What do I got here? Do this. Flip some of this to get rid of the monster. Okay. I'm gonna summon this. Goodbye, turtle. And we're gonna activate yes. We're gonna activate that. Gonna say no. 
And guess what, chat? We're about to slaughter this lad. Never stood a single chance. And... I don't know. Get him, red archery girl. You win. 587. Level up bonus. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, monster card bonus. I lost bad this time. You're really good. Let's do it again soon. Alright, chat. I got a ton of points from uh, kicking everyone's ass. Aren't I good at this game? It's only four, uh, 545. Everybody's got hearts here. Hey, there's the cat! I thought it couldn't appear at night. I guess it's early evening. Pet is back. Damn it. Chat, what is this cat's problem? Meow. Yeah, well, meow to you too. And you know what? Your chin looks like a butt. There you go. I already have sandwiches. How do I get prompt to even do that? Want a sandwich? Press the X button. Phantom pepper sandwich. What, is ghost pepper, like, uh, copyrighted or something? Hang on. My item here, will that do it? Meow. Okay, that works. Good, good. Let's get more sandwiches then. A jam sandwich. There you go. Let's buy one more for the road. Spicy curry sandwich. Oh, that sounds that sounds good. I'm hungry now. <laughs> I'm gonna get dinner after I stream. Let's talk to people while they got the hearts. They sell 48 different kinds of packs here, and like, five at once. I heard some go for as much as 5,000 DP. Oh, hey, Pharaoh. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Hobbies. You want to talk to me? You had a great talk. Yo, Jaden. Love the shop. They got everything here. You can always come by, even when I got no, uh, DP. Oh, hey, Pharaoh. What do you want to talk about? Dueling, of course. Oh, I was just thinking. I wanted to talk to you. You had a great talk. Guess we'll talk to this loser, too. Shopping's fun. What will I buy today? Oh, hey, Pharaoh. Want to talk about the Academy and how you'll never be good enough to succeed? <laughs> that was a little rude. This is the person I wanted to see. Yeah, great talk. New hero summon. Golden egg sandwich is mine. Can I give things to, like, the, the pack lady? Did I duel her yet? Oh, a duel sounds nice. I have to learn the rules first, maybe later. Welcome. Did you like cards? Wait, what? What? There's F? More eternal memories. This pack has cool continuous effects. Cool chat. Cool continuous effects like Destiny Board. Can we get a... Let's make a consistent Destiny Board deck and we'll just like slaughter everybody at the Academy with it. F... F, F. Let's buy some. I have no cards from it. Oh, look at all these F packs. Let's give it a check. Chain Blast. Lighten the load. Spirit message. May I got Mirror Wall. Look at that. 
dimension thing, molten destruction. Silent insect. Mystic plasma zone, L. Second coin toss. Yumi, Yumikura. Is that one I want? That thing. Rice and air current. Gravekeeper servant. Ooh, chat. I got another thing I need. <laughs> I got another thing I need. For uh, my silly skull invitation gravekeeper servant crap. Uh, let me see here. Air current. I can make a wind deck at some point, but... Embodiment of that. This main phase. This card is creating a normal monster. Earth, okay. Discard one card from me and destroy a face of continued trap cards in the field. Gaia power. Oh! This is better than Umi. Like, I don't have- I'm not even using, like, the car- uh, the cards that specifically want Umi as a thing. This is just better than what I have. So I should get, like, two more copies of this and replace Umi in my deck. Jeez. Second coin toss. Maybe I could make a cheesy barrel dragon deck with this. That can be fun. Increase the attack of all light monsters by five. This would work for the cyber dragon deck, wouldn't it? If I make a if I make like a, a light monster deck with uh, cyber dragons, proto cyber dragon also counts as a light monster, doesn't it? And also doesn't nerf machines. That's right. That's right. So Cyber Dragon won't get hurt too much there. Plasma Zone is Dark Monsters. Okay, Silent Insect. I'm just gonna put something else. Okay. Molten Destruction, Dimensional Fissure. Any monster sent to the graveyard is removed from play instead. Mirror Walls, that. Okay. I know Cyber Phoenix is fire. I kind of don't want to use Cyber Phoenix as much because I basically I let it get crashed into and that's a little slow. All right, chat. Let's buy some F. I want that more of that field spell. What else can I get? Oops, I skipped the whole damn thing. Well, I got another one. Malice Doll of Demise. That thing, Mirror Wall again. Another Gravekeeper Servant. Ooh, chat. Here we go. Dimensional thing. Second coin toss. Select two set spell or trap cards on the field and activate this card. As long as this card remains on the field, the select spell or trap cards cannot be activated. Okay. That's a thing. Canyon. If a rock type monster in defense position is attacked, double any battle damage to the controller of the attacking monster. Spirit message. I pretty much make destiny board now, can I? There we go. Oh, I got two more Yumi. Kira, did I? No, it says... Oh. Oh, you're right. The two on the actual card text. I was looking on the right side. Okay, so I got what I need. Nice. Messenger of Peace. Oh, this is funny. I like putting cards like this and chain energy up to um, stop... Well, actually, no, not this. Uh, sp more specifically, just chain energy to make my opponent, like... Uh... Like, I use chain energy and toll when I'm doing, like, the Gravekeeper Skull Invitation thing. That stuff is stupid fun. Spell Purification, Tower of Babel, Level Limit Area B, uh, Act 1 is active, Molten Destruction A. So chat, I can make Destiny Board. <laughs> is there any kind of like, consi no, there's no consistent Destiny Board strategy, there never will be, but is there anything I can do to make it somewhat funny because usually these games have like a special animation if you if you're just able to win with that destiny board is glitched oh how, how so what happens with it does it not work spirit message l nubian guard if this card inflicts battle damage your opponent's life points you return one continuous spell card from your card to deck the you see here Mystic Plasma. I don't think I have that card, no. Prohibition. Uh, the Claire card cannot be played. The cards which are already in the field between are excluded. 
Massive restrict. Another player can offer monsters under any conditions. <laughs> under any conditions. I miss the old text of no matter the situation. When you play Destiny Board and get the second letter I out, Destiny Board leaves and the I stays. Oh, so you literally can't you literally can't use Destiny Board in this game because the game messes up and gets rid of the first card by mistake. <sighs> That's silly. Changed like ten times, yeah. Well, I got more of that field spell, but I want it more Gravekeeper Servant. I can get Skull Invitation from the trap card thing. Maybe next time, chat, I'll be able to, um... So yeah, I literally cannot win the game with Destiny Board. You'd think they'd test that stuff, especially since they made a pack that literally, uh... Literally, like, represents it. That's kind of silly. How many more cards are glitched? Wait, what's this one again? I think that's... I can't remember that one, but I can't remember, quite remember what it does. Second coin toss. Metal Reflex Slime. Okay, that's a good stall thing. Cathedral of Nobles. Controller of this card can activate traps on the turn they are set. Additionally, by sending this card... Okay, that. Yeah, that thing. Okay. Well, let's get a bit more, why don't we? Gonna buy three more. And I'm gonna go for more Skull Invitation with this. Oh, that's right. Metal Slime becomes, like, water, right? It can also work with the Cyber Dragon one, wasn't it? Anyways. Forest. That thing. That thing. Of course, the Sanctuary. Imagine getting that as your damn rare. Umi. Stumbling. Respect play. Ooh, chat, I got the toll. <laughs> I got the toll. I can't wait to make the deck and make them pay the troll toll. I love that doing that. I wonder if the AI is stupid enough to just, like, lose like that. Oh, another Metal Reflect Slime. Nice. Yeah, toll and Gravekeeper... Or, uh, Gravekeeper Servant is great. Whatever that is. Forest! What do we got? I didn't really, uh, get too much from that, but yeah. Each player must pay 500 life points to clear an attack. So what you do is you just set up a bunch of stall and, uh, stuff like Gravekeeper and Skull Invitation, and it just racks up so much stupid damage, and it's funny. I love doing it. Curse of Darkness. Each time a spell card is activated, the controller of that spell card takes 1,000 points of damage. Oh, okay. Okay. Destiny board works fine. It's just that if it happens to be destroyed while the eye is out, the eye sticks around on the field, apparently. Is that true? Well, I'm I'm not really following. I guess I'll have to... Maybe I'll test it myself sometime. But it seems like there definitely is something wrong with it. I got a cat with me, chat. Cats. I need to check my deck right quick, though, that chat. Let me see here. I need to replace Umi with uh, the other, the better one. This is just, yeah, it's a straight upgrade, right? Uh, can I find it right at the top? That would be nice, but... I'm just checking the new one. Yeah, Gravekeeper Servant is. Unless your opponent sends one card from the top of their deck to the graveyard, they cannot declare an attack. Yeah, so you gotta make them set this up with Toll, and they have to pay life points and, the, and like, uh, mill their deck in order to attack. And if I'm just playing defensively, it's, like, stupid to sit back and watch it happen. It's just stupid strategy, but it's just so amusing. I'm stubborn and want to find it without sorting. Uh, 
Uh, is it sorted by alphabetical right now? I don't even know. There's the toll. Actually, I think it is. Yeah, it is. So it's at the bottom. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, 500 and decrease their defense by 400 points. See, that's the bad downside is that stuff like the, the turtle won't be able to reflect as much. But as you, if you've been paying attention, I've really been phasing those out of my deck anyway. Just in favor of like the beatdown because I have like other cards to cover like uh, the stall tactics now. And this right here is just, you know, 200. So we won't put these in instead. Okay, nice. Look at that. There it is. L I L. Or. No, sorry, that was A at the beginning. Silly me. Silly, silly me. Okay, so Destiny Board does work. It's just. The letters are, they don't work on the field as like they're intended. And Skull Invitation is, each time a card is sent to the graveyard, inflect 300 points of damage to the owner's life points. Yes, that combo with Toll makes the cost even more, so I love it. I love how silly it is. Proto is um, a light machine monster, so I can use that at some point. All right. Pay the Troll Toll, buddy probably get rid of this now for something else can I go for anything new should I just put in gravekeeper servant for fun it only affects the opponent didn't it yeah it's opponent I'm gonna put it in for fun because I want to be just a piece of crap <laughs> all right Now then, chat. We gotta duel somebody. We gotta test this out. Do one more duel. Let's go. I can probably call it a night. She got jewels, chat. Oops. I almost just spilled my drink. First to go. Phoenix's dream. Let's go. And now we play the favorite game of adding a card to my deck and not getting to see it used. Because I don't draw it. What she got? Nobleman of Crossout? Oh no. Everybody's got Nobleman now. No problem. No problem. There it is, chat. There it is. The Gravekeeper Servant. I'm gonna cause some shenanigans to happen now. You got a battle trap? I'll attack into it happily. Better not be glitched and affect me too. Let's see. Oh, you're getting Nobleman back. Alright, fine. I just won't set a monster then. How about that? Turn end. Come on, do something. Do something. Attack me. You can't do anything. You can't do a thing. You're nothing but a fraud. Get her ass. Treeborn frog. If this card's in your grave, return the standby phase. There are no spell trap cards on your side of the field. You can special summon this card to your side of the field. This effect cannot be activated. There's a face-up treeborn frog on your side of the field. Okay. Well then. That's not a problem for me. Can she even do anything? <laughs> she can't. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm laughing now. Uh, wait. Can I finish her? With <laughs> just that? Oh my goodness gracious, chat. Um, did she just not get anything? Okay. Oh, no. MST. MST. No. Not from a monster side of the field to send it back. Heck no, I don't want to do that. 
Um, hang on a second here. Cool, cool. Wait, can Stimpak still let me do this? Not nearly enough, but I'm just gonna go for it, do it anyway. Out of the pure disrespect. That was almost just like a win right there. Almost a win. See? Look how close it was. If she didn't do that with the axe... <laughs> she summoned a treeborn frog. I should have tried... If I would have used Stimpak first, I could have had her. Oh well. Not like I could know. Oh no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oops. There we go. Well, I just won. All right, chat. Let's put her out of her misery. What was her strat? <laughs> Nothing even happened there. That whole duel was a joke. Look at that. Duelist bonus, heck yeah. Wow, you're really good. I never stood a chance. No, you didn't. I'm not trying to be mean, but no, you did not stand a chance at all whatsoever, ma'am. Okay, chat. So what day of the week is it right now? Uh, it's Thursday. Overrate the data. Save complete. So I made some good progress on my deck today. Um, I got some good parts together for making a Cyber Dragon deck, but I still definitely need way more, like, generic staples to kind of splash in there because I can't get Cyberstein for a good while. Um, I think what I need to do is I need to keep dueling, obviously, but I need to focus on some of the main characters a bit so that I can, like, uh, recruit them as, like, partners for Sunday. Like... I feel like the game doesn't really, like, make a lot of stuff like that clear. It really wants you to just kind of wander and duel randomly so you get used to the game. Like, if you know exactly what to do, you definitely could skip ahead in this game super quickly, I would imagine. But I got some duels in against people like uh, Alexis and Zane for sure. So we'll just keep at that for next time. Maybe I can just partner with Zane or something. That could be fun. He's not gonna... Imagine if Zane had Cyberstein, he could just, like, like uh, make me lose 5,000 life points if that's how it works. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, I'm still having a good time with this game, but I think now's a good time to stop the stream. I've been going for a while. I'm gonna get some food in me. And I'll be back in a... Uh, I'm taking tomorrow, tomorrow off to work on something. And do some stuff, but I'll be back again. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good night. Bye-bye.